What is this? Give me the hotness. Where? What is this nonsense? Here we go. Take it away. We well, got room on the couch, dude. Mr. Michael Huber. Oh, oh I'm coming I'm, in. Okay. Good, I'll scoot over it. Oh, yeah. All right. Is there oh, yeah. a tree? Resident Evil 2. I don't think I've ever actually been in attendance. That's why I'm so excited, for one of your guys. Because I never get to play Resident Evil 2. I don't Evil think I was around guys. for it either. Yeah. And I missed yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. I'm really so it. pumped. I'm so fired up for this. It's so really a uh, Leon B game, which is Cannon. my personal favorite. Do that. Game game. <laughs> Seeds of gore. So yeah, good. So that old cat call the real dude. Will do you? <sighs> good job. Yeah, we did it. That was good. Dude, I'm gonna get my blanket. Do it. That was unforgettable. We all be. Oh my god. We all suck. That was a lot of fun. That was really well done. So wait, did you start? Does did you already do Claire A? So I did Claire A this week in okay. preparation. I okay. streamed that full playthrough. So a lot of people in attendance probably saw that. A uh, little spoiler alert: it was really nice because the scenarios they cross over. So at one point, if you get into the weapons locker, you can take a heavy machine gun and a side pack. Whatever you take, mm -hmm. the B scenario, like, it's gone. Yeah. I saved both. John stole your chair. Yeah, yeah he did. Oh, okay. sorry. So. You stole my seat, though. So. I did? Yeah. I thought you were over there whispering in the mic like a freak is I, I came back and sat cool. down. I'll sit next to Don. And then I was, oh, went to charge to the PS3 controller. Yeah, see, y'all win, y'all lose. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> ben, squeeze in. in. This is awesome. Squeeze in. Squeeze in, Ben. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Movie night. Yeah. Movie night. <laughs> Movie this night. Is, <laughs> everyone gets I'm a blanket. I'm yeah, taking some of the blanket. I'm taking some of the blanket. blanket. This is blanket. not canon. <laughs> oh, it's canon. This, this is, is canon. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Okay. okay. For okay. sure. Wouldn't have it any other way. Hey, Don. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite metal set weapon? I'm going to hit it. Uh. Boop. Oh my god, I gotta do the stupid reset. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. The, uh... I remember what Current the current disc is too laser. Got it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But isn't it isn't it this situation where it's like one for just like a second and then you switch back? It's such a boring answer. Leon was always this one and then she was. It's not metal slug without the heavy machine. Because sometimes it happens in this game where you have to like start it in one disc and then switch. I also really switch. Right. I really love being fat. Oh yep. yeah, bleep, bleep. In what? Little, oh. uh, then it turns Such into hype. like a um, so much hype. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like I don't even know if legally yeah. they had to continue doing that for the series, but it's so effective. It's so it's saying the tone. <laughs> I like would look. I was like looking forward to it every game. It put a smile on my face. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be a word for the sense of caution, yeah, and I'm just like, oh, God, we're getting in it now, guys. It's the midnight. ostrich is pretty. Fun. Yeah. Oh, like Resident Evil 2. Yeah. yeah. We got 1,200 like people watching. Nice. Wow. <laughs> it's got it like on his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hi, everyone. So Hello. Hello. Here we go. Uh, We're in it. Dirty Mike 8. Just subbed. We're in it. Thank Wait, you, we Mike. don't have the death Thank counter you, visible? In the midst of the T virus. Oh, oh yeah. T virus. Claire Redfield succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors. A young girl named Sherry. Hype. <laughs> However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department. Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> Wait, behind their escape? Not the best translation. <laughs> Not what the series is known for. Yeah. I love this cutscene. Voice scene. acting. I can watch this like a hundred times. <laughs> it's a really nice cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that there's two different ones. The graphics look really cool. Yeah. Brad's favorite line ever coming right up. Is oh, this yeah. the best version you know? What have we got here? <laughs> <laughs> Dead body in the street. <laughs> what, what could this be? Yeah, it's pretty casual about it. Surface case you going to sleep. City empty, corpse in the middle of the street. Well, looky do. Here we go, Brad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, I'm a maniac. Why? 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 Why?
Should I call someone this, like, them? freak accident is like, just like, what a crazy person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure are a lot of weirdos Must in California. Must be Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Whoa. See how that echoes the, the shot of the zombie in the first one? All right. The open shoulder shot. But it's Leon this time. Bet. That's called a facsimile. <laughs> what? Just making shit up. Hello. No! No! Immediately opens fire. Yeah, yeah. just shoots a woman. Doesn't in the even head. try to kick him <laughs> off. <laughs> Have you seen the Lady CG movie Huber that yeah. just came out? Did yeah. you see it in theater? No, I, I watched the digital. Is it good? It's got some good parts. So uh, no. It's it's no it's no <laughs> it's after Resident Evil 6, before seven. So you see where like Chris and Leon and stuff. I feel like I need uh, to play Resident Evil 6 Wait, again. it's before what? It's before 7, but after 6. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta finish 7. So, you didn't finish 7? Mm -mm. I got really annoyed in the... Big Scissors boss fight. That's so really out of the game. I know. Yeah. Boss fights, man, giving you a hard time. First the dog, now yeah. this guy. I, man, I want nothing more to fin than to finish Evil Den. Can we Even just... though I already know the, like... Can you just take a second to appreciate that the Evil Within 2 exists? Oh I've never getting it. Yeah. Every and then, time. And then immediately Sometimes in real life, to Wolfenstein? this day, I drive like this in honor of this cutscene. <laughs> well, I, I believe just you. Like bad television in general, like back in the 80s, blue screen, people are just like yeah, driving cars. not like, looking. Oh, it's that guy. Like turning the wheel too much, too. So. I feel like you were saying something. What? Evil Within's coming. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I just wanted to take coming. a second to appreciate that Evil Within 2 exists. Yep. And then immediately after we get Wolfenstein 2. Yeah. Like... Ah! Thank you. Thanks for happy. Thank you. I... There are a lot of things I want that it feels like a lot of people don't want. And then when they happen it feels good. I think just because you love so many things. Could be. You love a lot of things, I man. I do. <laughs> Huber. So, let's... So, Let's do a stream where we, you help, you and I finish my Evil Within playthrough so I can play Evil Within 2. Honestly, I'm not just saying this. <laughs> you, you haven't seen some of the best parts of that game. I know. You kill that dog dead. Come kill that dog. Kill that dog dead, dude. So I like it because they split right there, right? right. In that yeah, cutscene. Yeah, yeah. He goes that way, also implying that his B game mm -hmm. is the cannon. Cannon. She's on the other side. Wolfenstein 2 is shooter of the year. Okay. Like. This year, probably yeah. Yeah. Do you ever play as her in this? As her? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. She's a whole. I have not played a single second of Wolfenstein. You do her first. He did her first, then him, and you can do it. I mean, it's more. I was thinking of Jill. I was thinking of Jill for some reason. No, yeah. I need to finish Old Blood. I need to finish Old Blood. Showtime. I forgot about. Sure. That's fair. I forgot this was two. Really is fair. That really is fair. That really is fair. Is that a Delorean, dude? That's a Delorean. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, that is a dog. That's straight up. Wolf of the Two looks bad in my opinion. You look bad. Hey, now. I'm just kidding. Ooh. It was a joke. It's easy living. Spite, spiteful. Oh, we could be mean now. to the chat. Spiteful, and spiteful Sunday. It's, it's easy living. No, it's a new day. Spiteful Twitter Sunday. 47. Thank you. Thank you. Spiteful Five months. Saturday is over. Where's my drink? I want a snake. You want a snake? Anybody else want a snake? Yeah. Snake? Oh, Save my spot, oh, I'm all fixed. Oh, you got any more of that blue diamond goodness? I'm a bit of snake. Challenging that yourself, you're yeah, right. Yeah, my trajectory is right now. What the hell is a snake? Uh, oh, I definitely, a snake. if I got grabbed by anybody, yeah. I would just oh, start. I mean, I'm not saying for you two, keep going, but when I was first playing this game, I was like, well. Hey, Don, do we have any more miso soup? Yeah, help yourself. Sweet, dude. It's in that yellowish bag. No, dude, I got Cheese, There's more pasta, too. Nice, nice, nice. Saved it up. A little investment in your future. Right? That's right, yeah. I like to plan ahead. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little future wiener shit. The beginning of B is, like, harder for sure. Blue. We Wait. will be saving. We live in a time where the best person I've ever seen play Resident Evil is playing Resident Evil. We're hanging <laughs> out, and me. hundreds of people are watching us. This is weird. It's like Metal Lee, dude. Boruto. This is really weird. Too much pressure. In a rented beach house. Yeah, that's rented wild. <laughs> How did we get here? Well, I can't figure out a snack. 
Is there miso soup? <laughs> oh yeah. The female zombie. Yeah, I don't know. Right. There's miso what? soup. Here we go. It's one of my favorite cutscenes. I don't know what's going on. Yo, it's one of my favorite cutscenes in Resident Evil 2. Do you need help in the kitchen? Uh, B game only. <laughs> oh yeah, this blew my mind when I was playing before. I was like, what the yeah, hell? Dude. We get to see this? Dude, I've never seen. No, I've, I've seen this. Poor guy. I played the shit out of Resident Evil 2. Turkey dogs. Anybody want turkey dogs? You got miso soup? <laughs> Donnie, you want turkey dogs? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, dude. I don't know how you have to prepare miso soup yourself. The pilot, dude. I'm gonna make you miso soup. The box. How do we make it? It's like, I'll make sure if you're, you don't want any clumps of Even powder. Even to the plate clumps of miso. Sure. You I want the miso that clump. I got some microwave. No, I don't want clumpy soup. You don't want clumpy miso. And in both A campaigns, you just stumble across this copter later. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I miss pre rendered backgrounds. Me too. They're so cool. They are the best. Alright, I'm so scared right now. Why? Oh. Gotta get that crank. That's true. But it's so great because there's, so there's so many things you stumble across in RE1 that I think. You know, even the most astute players at some point just kind of like absorbed into the set dressing of, of stuff, where they're just kind of like, oh yeah, this, something happened there, who knows? Yeah. So it's very easy to look at that helicopter and be like, right, apocalypse. And it's like, no, something very specific happened there. And like, yeah, nice, nice, yeah. Run, run, run. Nice. How come here we get upset about compromises, but like pre-rendered backgrounds? I just don't think they were a compromise in this. In this yeah, gen. back then, dude. This was cutting edge, man. This was like the tech. Yeah. They still look good today. Timeless. Oh yeah. Health gets some sweet, sweet, sweet herbs, dude. Feels good. Yeah, dump that knife, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to like figure out this route here. It's been a while for B. You can uh, yeah, maybe eat one of those herbs just to just on, on its own. I think that's about as much as you've lost so far. Yeah. Is this an AGDQ practice run, Hebert? No. Yes. This is a fun run. That's a practice run. Run for fun? Yeah. What the hell kind of fun is that? <laughs> is that like Force Gump or something? No. No. Hey, Ian. Ian, though. Aliens? Ian, though. Easy. It's easy. Hey, I don't think about movies, dude. Chat with us now. It's not my element. That'll tell you. Look at those moccasins. What are those for? Back to the Future 3. Oh, for running. Back to the Future 3? Running? Yep. Dude, I haven't seen Back to the Future 3 in like 15 years. Oh, you know, for fun. Okay. Run for fun? Man, what the hell kind of fun is that? I always just watch 1 and 2, then I'm done. Oh, 3 is amazing. Is it? I don't remember. So good. It's the beginning of Hill Valley, you know. It's such a yeah. I mean, that's, I that's so cool. I can't read that whole name, but Super Meldumbra Supercell. Oh, man, it's a good name. Thank you. What's so, up, Jones? When was the last time you watched on Super Nefoldumbra? Sorry, on what? Special edition of Star Wars. I, for as big of a fan as I am, like I'll never just pop in Star Wars and watch it. You know, oh, I haven't popped in Star Wars in a long time either. Yeah. yeah. I usually watch I'm just it with curious, friends. Because it's been a long time for me. Yeah. Like, unspecialized. No animated do-backs in the background. It's kill. Oh, yeah, I've got those, those VHS tapes, but I think I'd have to test something on my VCR before I trusted it with them. Because the VCR hasn't been turned in for. Oh gosh, at least Get seven or eight years. What's death count? I think we're 279, I think. Somewhere around there. 278? 278. Or did we die one more time? Ian said 79, I think, I at think the end. I think it's 277? It says 267. Soundtrack bot is no, counted 277 deaths yeah. so far. Okay. 277, yeah, that's what I thought. We only died twice? Three. Three? Not There's bad. so many zombies here. Not bad, we'll do better next time. Crap. Do you want to catch a fan monster down? Alright, we have, we have water. 
Bears. Let's just brave it. Let's just brave it right, All right. Jones. Brave. Oh, jeez. Maybe not, dude. Yeah, what the, what's going <laughs> on in there? <laughs> what's going on in there? Let's <laughs> brave it. Let's Maybe go, not. Yeah, let's go around. <laughs> Where's the shit going on? Who has faith, yeah. man? We won't need the yeah, death count for safe. four yes. hours. What in the world? Yeah. All right. You got through Clara with no deaths, right? Yeah. Did he die? No. Going around. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Taking the long way. Taking the long way. Dude, run's over now. No speed run. Yeah, we're not. We're not it's a fun run. <laughs> Just speed run the game here for once in your life. We're going fast. As fast as possible, but not. I want you to speed run this game one time. Me too. I want us. I'm going to get a timer. We're going to set splits <laughs> and we're going to do it. I got to take Brad. It's so intense because if you make like one mistake, it's over. PB, dude, first run. Oh boy. What, Jones? Rebuilding the entire area from either RE1 or RE2 and chloroforming Hubert <laughs> and then just dropping him in there and setting up cameras everywhere. Do the best. Might be one of my, like, <laughs> most potent fantasies I can think of, man. That's mm -hmm. very sadistic. I would love and that I like it. so much. So we gotta build the Spencer Mansion at the police station. Yep. Mm. So I think the Spencer Mansion is more practical, but he likes already two more. Let's so. start like a like a, a million Kickstarter? dollar tier, a million dollar tier <laughs> on Patreon. Take it, but yeah, a million won't be do enough. We will build a replica. Yeah. Oh, this is good. We could build so like a fun. set. This is good. Wait, I missed it. What happened? You want to kill a bunch of people in a mansion? Secretary's diary. Uh, um, no, I, I knew it. I, 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 I want to force Huber to kill those people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. That still counts. Should I, should well, I read like, these? Huh? Should I read them? I, I do the same thing to you in Bloodborne, but I think it'd be what more What do you special. think, Jones? I read these for Claire A already, live on stream. Should I reread them again now? No. Here no, I for think the For the people that did not see that stream? I'm okay. I'm okay with Skip not it. Okay. Okay. Skip it. Leon's not a reader. Sorry, everybody. Leon is not a reader. That's right. <laughs> Leon can't read. He's a collector. Ebo Shara said read it. Too late. Sorry, Ebo. Sorry, Ebo Shara. In caps. That one is about the no secretary. I'll give you the you abridged. Know, I'll give you the abridged version. It's but, about the secretary moving uh, statues and the chief, Chief Irons, freaking out about it, getting nuts. Uh, he brings in a, a painting of a w naked woman being hanged. Whoa. And she's like, this is disturbing. And uh, nice. just that the chief is acting weird. Do you kind of get into a Grand Theft Auto V mentality with the two characters? Obviously you're not going to play it differently because you want to survive, but... Do you ever get into that mentality that the two of them would obviously approach this kind of a... Uh, an emergency situation differently? Chief Fires is not a change. I think in Resident Evil 2, Claire and Leon are very similar. Um, Rob Money, one, two, six, four months. Four months, Rob Money, thank you. I think they're super similar and they would handle it pretty much the same, but now they made Leon like some anime action star, like doing backflips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I think now he would approach it slightly differently. <gasps> what? No. Nope. Drink was one, two, and three, and that's for PS4 and 3DS? Yeah, yeah that's great. What? I'm clicking that link. In Japan. The good news yeah. just won't stop. Oberon. Correct. Ten months, oh, thank that you. Hurts. God. Not as much of that head squash. Yo, the B game is good. Uh, yeah. Any idea who this one is? Like Does it start? I can't remember. Apo Dude, apologies for not remembering this game at all. Fine. Does it yeah, start the same way, just slightly different, or does B game happen after her A, a game? Uh, you are like slightly behind her. Like when we came in and all the windows were shattered, that's because she had like just been there maybe like 30 minutes earlier. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like overlapping. And is there a reason that you're behind because you got sent to the left? Mm -hmm. She yeah. She goes one way. You she go goes like way. straight in, and then you you have to go around. Yeah. It's crazy that she didn't just like yeah, wait there for it is. you. There it is clearly. <laughs> like I would wait for my friend in this situation. Well, I mean, I would immediately try to Most leave right in the city, I think. Very nice. Paying off. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
Did we change the title of the game? Uh, yeah. Damiani did? Okay. Nice. Where'd Damiani go? Probably sleep. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you heard it earlier, Ian, but those little markers that you're talking about, they're all on the, the archive in the first one. Oh, cool. So when it, this happens whenever you change the game. Yeah. Did you have to put them in, or did it yeah, do it? Yeah, it's when we change the game, that's when it happens. Uh. Looking good. Got the shot. Feeling safe. Yeah, Feeling Brucey, safe. That, that, is, that is one moment where the game shows its age a little bit. That, like, super fast transition between CG environment. I mean, it's all CG, but, like, pre-rendered and... Yeah. I mean, it's all pre-rendered, but... <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, some of it is being rendered in... Why are we not playing DQ11 during the stream? It's a mistake. We don't deserve it. We don't deserve it. I'm not worthy. Not worthy. Can we fix that? What are you putting the key in there for? If we have to make it small enough, we need it. This game, suit, does this game That's have not, teleporting dude. boxes or yeah, location six. specific six. boxes? One teleporting. There, the only one that did right location now, specific was Zero. That's a yeah. oh, okay. dude. That was that was its thing. Insane. Yeah. Bad idea. Yeah. Bad, bad, bad idea. Idea. Capital Zero yeah. makes me sad because it's Capital such a fun. It's such a cool story. Yeah. Didn't yeah. they fix it though in like a thing or? Oh, no. Okay. When they re-released it, didn't they? Like Same thing. Oh, we. Zero when I first played it on GameCube. And then playing it years later and not liking any of it at all. I didn't like it. On, I didn't like it originally. Yeah, I was so Which frustrated one? with it. It, it is this so game? no Resident Evil Zero. Oh yeah. Like it's not hard. It's just really annoying and tedious. Yeah, yeah. very. I tedious. didn't play it until like the re-release came out the HD version. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Right. Because you're just, on the train and that's kind of cool. Then I slowly like the train is great. further and further the game and yep. like inventory management. And I was like, yep. this is kind of annoying. Yep. The train is great. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The train. The train is. Yeah, great. it looks great. I agree with you. Here. I think I've beaten all of them except for 5, 6, and 7. 5 is awesome. But I don't like remember them. Really. What is it? 2, 2, 3, 4, Chad? 5. 5 is fun. Or like... Is it on a desk? Behind him? It's like... Chad, what's going here? It's uh, 2... I thought that was going to steal. I'm still here, baby. 3. three. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same I'm combination still, as my luggage! I'm still, I'm still here, oh, baby! Man. 2, 2, 3, 6. Hey, Chad. Dude, we got too many items. We're swimming in green herbs. What? Let's just get one. What diff going. are you playing on? Uh, Ian, going. let's play Resident Evil 5. That game is great. Alright. Oh, I love 5. God, I love Why five. did they update it then? Yeah, 5 is sick. Mm -hmm. There's a great moment you can cheese in 5 that'll give you like more ammo than you could ever want. It's really? Fun. There was like a save file that started me. That starts uh, it, it you got, in it got, it got a like, warehouse, and there's a machine gun right there. Good. That's kind of like so I just like load up the safe two, file, two, grab three, the machine six. gun, oh, reload the safe right. file, grab the machine gun, oh, and, the safe, and then funny. sell it. And like, Are those chips really good? They're my favorite chips. Oh, Such a good flavor. Salsa there, they my favorite chips. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord, can I try one? Yeah, RE5 and RE0 are like exact opposites for me. RE5 gameplay great, story, mm -hmm. okay. I love the story. RE0, like frustrating gameplay, but. They got Very a little cool kick story. to them. I yeah. love the story of five. Alright, love it. Chris vs. Boulder. <laughs> like, Wesker is so good in five. <laughs> and, uh, just that, like, bioterrorism going, like, international. Like, they plant that seed in four. But I think it's, like, really well realized in five of just, like, all these companies doing sketchy bio testing on weather. Medical mechanics. It's cool. Dino Crisis. Uh, Shadow said Never finished he's it, played all of the Resident Evil games and he thinks RE7 is the best, and I totally understand that. Yep. I don't agree with it, yep. but I understand it. Come beat the scissors boss for me, Huber. Actually, I think it was on Omar's computer that we were, we were like trading a peg. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah. I mean, that's Resident Evil 7, right? There's like a little kid with the scissors that's chasing around. It's really blocky. That's Resident that's Evil it. 7, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, that one. You're using worry. a mouse to click mm -hmm, around the mm -hmm, environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, spoilers, dude. Come on. Ooh. Is that... It's a monster following you with scissors. And oh, God. Oh, you, is that you like don't a know who revelation? It is. No, I'm oh. scared. But it's like short. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Scared. Nightmares falling from the sky. 
deploying ass kicker in three, two, one. I like how it's only there's there's multiple. Do they only drop one near here, or do they drop more in other one. places? Oh, so one of them's Nemesis in there? No. I think Resident Evil Six has a lot of good. I think they might cover in some of those in totally uh, the, the, the Wii bullshit. shooters, Brad. Oh. So wait, who's that? Tyrant. It's Mr. X. Mr. X. Mm-hmm. Which one's Tyrant in? One. Tyrant, yeah. That is the end of the game. Oh, yeah. You might be thinking Nemesis? He's Nemesis three. is three. I remember that, yeah. So technically, like, Nemesis is a Tyrant. It's like a variation. Oh, okay. Oh, like, OG Tyrant. Oh, yeah. Jesus, he's just Mr. right there. Mr. X. Yeah. yeah, take the oh, hit. Yeah, take, take the, the hit and make the play. Resident, the Evil, Resident Evil 3 deserves to be rebounded. Bounce. Straight up. Resident Evil 3 is not going to have love. So my dream is that Resident Evil 3 is part of the Resident Evil 2 remake, Fine. and that there's three campaigns, <laughs> Leon, Claire, Jill. Wow. Whoa. You have it all. Wow. Yeah. Why have they not actually... Why is Capcom not very... And it would yeah, actually be pretty amazing. Because it's all encompassing. Yeah, yeah. Is th does Jill's 3 take yep. place at the same time as this? Yep. Yep. yep, yep. Where is she? Here in the city. In, the in city. Raccoon. Yep. Code and Veronica you just never cross paths well? with her? Never cross paths. Code Veronica's sweet. True. Parasite Eve? You stated a factual thing. <laughs> All right. All right. Grab that shotgun, baby. Yes. Code Veronica is really good. Code Veronica is also, like, when you think about the entirety I'd of the game, I'd say shoot Veronica right, really run weird. right. Not in a bad way. Code Veronica is weird. It is weird. And I Thank love you. It. Thank you. It's so weird. Yeah, I'd it's beat that very one weird. Too, but, but I don't good. remember what happens there. Oh. oh. What's so weird about it? I don't remember it. Just like the story that it's telling, the place that it takes in, and like what it came after and what it came before is like this weird thing. It's it's deep, but it is really good. It's really nice. good. Nice. No more heads. Yes. Oh, so be down. Boo. Boo. Oh, the knockback. Yeah. Uh, oh. Confirm it, John Wick. Oh. Confirm. Tap, tap. John Wick 2, dude. I also think the Outbreak games so are better than they're giving credit. Oh, nice. so I good. know, I gotta make it. Those Have you ever played through the Outbreak games? Yeah, I don't think I ever finished Outbreak 2, but I did Outbreak 1. I like them a lot. Yeah, I they were like fun. The AI is a legit way to play that game. It sucks not to be able to play it with other people, but... Just with... Even playing with AI is really cool. It's sick. We unlocked that more. I love Re Resident Evil Revelations 2 also. It's so jolly. Yes. It just feels good. Yeah, it feels so good. Which is so weird because it's a game about horrific monsters. Mm -hmm. It feels Everything... good if you're playing as uh, Claire or Barry. Yeah. 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 I appreciate Omar what they're trying to do with the co-op. Yeah. yeah. Omar loves it less than I do. He played as yeah. Moira. Yeah. And Freakazoid Kid, what's her name? Natasha? Natalia. Na Natasha. Natalia? The thing about Revelations 2 is, like, before it came out, it all seemed bad. And I am not a fan of Re Revelations 1. Yeah, I'm, like, lukewarm on Revelations 1. Sure, that's a better way to say it. I remember I cutting the review for one, and the reviewer liked it. Was that you, Blood? Mm -hmm. Whoever uh, maybe it was Justin Spear. Revelations 1 is not a, it's not a bad game. game. It's just, I also don't think it's a great one either. Uh, but the... The... The way they split two up, the focus on the different characters, the episodic format, I think works really well for that style of game. Yeah. Um, oh, one isn't like that? I never played one. Ebo Show wants to know, Hubert, when you think we're getting an update is, on an RE7 DLC. The same. Uh, ben and I were talking about that. I'm thinking as early as Gamescom, they could slip it in. Sure. Uh, or TGS. Oh. TGS feels right. Yeah. Just off screen him. Oh my lord. I think the scanning in Revelations 1 is bad. I think the enemies are bad. Yeah, the scanning was weird. You're bad. Were those liquors or hunters? Liquors. Yeah, PSX RE7 DLC Shadow Drop would be pretty great. Yes. Dude, nah, they're gonna be dropping four from software games at PSX. Oh, is that? Okay, that's fine. What Shadow Drop in the full games. What if... They're all out. What if they do a demo when they show gameplay for RE2 Remake? 
What if it just comes out? They're like, here, you can just have it for free. It's free for everybody. For everybody. <laughs> PSN Plus, free. What I, will, what I will say to myself is, thank you for making Uber happy. <laughs> I love I how to I yourself. love how powering yet precious the shotgun is so in every made Resident Evil game. Yes. No, I didn't make it. You feel like such a badass. Yep. But then you Dude, every every at. shot's like no. <laughs> and even until the end, even until the end of the game, yep. that shotgun still just. Yep. It's like a little, it's like a warm blanket. Draft your tweets. Draft them. Draft them. Do you have cats, Brad? What? Do you have cats? No. Hmm. Putting the blue. Just wondering why I started sneezing all of a sudden. Doges. Every time. No, I'm fine with dog. Every time. Thoughts on Persona Q2 and the Persona, the new Persona dancing games. So the best way to sum up my feelings is uh, somebody made a tweet saying they're milking the Persona games, and then they showed a woman happily <laughs> drinking a glass of milk. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> And like her eyes are closed, she's smiling. She's yep. like, this is delicious. You're making, you're making good stuff. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. Right. Exactly. I mean, not everybody likes P4 Dan, but I like it a lot. I had fun. Yeah, I had fun. That's fun playthrough. I, I thought I thought the story was more than serviceable yeah. for that type of game. P4 Dan is uh, dancing all night. Watching yeah. this while playing Witcher 3 <laughs> Blood and Wine is Ooh. the warmest of blankets. Wow. Whoa. What is well, speaking wait, of, wait, what did he say? He's playing Witcher 3. I clearly missed the trip to the blanket shop. I know. I just, I just somehow inherited Brad's blanket I, and then he not, left. I'm gonna steal a bit. <laughs> I have not finished the witches. There's room for two, Brad. I'm gonna go to bed in like 20 minutes. Last. Can we get for that Good. Smackdown? WWE 2K. I should probably save him a little bit. Just in case. Safety save? Yeah, we don't want some botch. Vegabyte Snable, yeah, I would love to do Galaxy of Heroes again. I never showed off raids. They got space uh, battles now. There's a lot of stuff I could show off. You have kind of Streaming right? it? Yeah. Oh. Like, I'm pretty well, sure, chat, I will die during this playthrough. I want P5 Arena, we all do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, something had to be sacrificed to make Dragon Ball like Fighters. Like Daniel Blair. Yeah, like thank crazy. fucking God for that. Damn like, Dragon Ball Fighters is game of the year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You guys are gonna try to put up this weak ass shit like Mario Odyssey and <laughs> Zelda, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, but look at these DBZ characters uh, fight each other. We are <laughs> actually playing as sex tricky next, baby. Give it to the in three hours. What's that? Three, yeah, three and a half yeah. hours, but still. It's coming. It's cooking. Jones, yeah, wait for territory year, battles, that's right, yeah. That was my, that's my uh, argument. That was my favorite thing of all year. time, yeah, Jones, exactly. to say as a server in a restaurant when. Oh, whoa. Oh, renegade zombie! In the safe room? Crazy guy. You just oh, this say is renegade a... zombie to people. Renegade to zombie them. to my tables. No, uh, <laughs> my favorite thing to say was like, when where? people were getting like really pissy about waiting for food. They'd be like, "Yo, is the, where's the food? Like, it's kind of been a while. Where is it? It's cooking. <laughs> it's cooking." But like in a way as to where it's like not confrontational and yeah. like, like what can they say? Yeah. Eat fact, his words. I will not eat my words about Dragon Ball. What Fighters. can they say? That what is, can I say? That's the most wrong thing what I've seen. Other than it's cooking, I will not be eating my words. Yeah, this guy's got. Me. On my average Resident Evil playthrough, Don't I spent about twenty percent of my time yeah. managing that box. Fair Yeah. You like were, that red line oh yeah. was weapons and health. It was like yeah. it was like damage to other things and healing myself and like keys and stuff like that below it. Hell yeah, Jones. But I mean, I'd get one new item and I'd moving everything around. Please like, memorandum. I like this. They're talking about uh, moving the ammunition and the munitions throughout the police station in case uh, in case of people coming and like taking all the supplies. So they split it all up. Like, we gotta put it here, put it here, put it here. That was also uh, Chief Iron's idea. Anime fighters are so niche. He's not getting enough community to keep it going. So I said the last thing was the most wrong thing I've read in chat. This is the most <laughs> wrong thing. Yeah, man, Dragon Ball Z is so niche, dude. Not popular at all. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. What's a Dragon Ball Z? I like Naruto. 
These people, man. I love Jerry. <clears throat> Spicy bit. Get that miso Wait, soup in there. Yeah, it's <laughs> all miso dough. <laughs> Breathing fire. Dude, the B game is relentless. <laughs> My goodness. Can it be God. Nice. Right. You love to see that. Unless you you don't have any green herbs, yeah. or you just or you just combine them all, and you're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finishing a finishing a playthrough with some red herbs just hanging in your box is not it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Tisk tisk. Yeah. Yeah. If you finish Resident Evil, anyone with some red herbs in your if you're in your box, uh, yeah, yeah. You screwed up. Tisk tisk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Brad. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go out there pretty soon too. Well, I'm not top. Right, Brad's top. I'm top. Oh, okay, so you're top. Yeah, Jens, could you slide down just a little? Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. Sick. Wait, who is? No, we got some extra room up in here. Guns? Wait. No, Brad's top bunk. Ben's gonna go bottom bunk. In that same room. Yeah. Come here, Brad. Nice. Blood is the single long bed. Yeah. I miss you, Brad. Ben, I'll be Did Damiani go on the That's couch? couch? I don't know. Maybe I'll take the couch. If Johnny has any couch, you can sit on that. Don thinks he can't for the Nisa Left season. side of the sure. bed I was on. Where's that? All the way in the back? It takes huge. We can just sleep on it, stay warm. Sweet. Go screw it, Damian. Actually, I should get my phone out of that room so I don't have to wake up for it. Alright. Eber, you treat this game like a surgeon in your life. <laughs> Cruising. Cruising. Morning, Vanderfalk! Yeah. Oh! oh. Who are you? Love the way this syncs hey, up. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> are they singing? Twitch, if you're watching, make it so I can bump a video to the top of the collection. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> huh? Dragging a video up page by page through 40 other videos is the dumbest thing. Claire Redfield, dude. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? I actually really like the way they handle her in Rev 2. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just missed her. Who is she? And Barry, for that matter. Mm -hmm. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Jolly Co-op Tournament. There's an idea. You go and find us a way out of here. Hey, guys. How? But before Claire I forget, here's a radio. Mm -hmm. on the Depends on the game, I guess. Yeah. That way we can keep in touch. 2v2 fighting game. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Quarter circle! Quarter circle! I'm doing it! Always use the small key here. Boom. Handgun parts. H gun parts. Serious business. What's up, dinosaur wing? Dinosaur. It's time to get Animusha. Oh, it really is. Animusha. We're way overdue. It's also time for a new Dragon's Lung game, but uh, no one seems to care. Jack's on deck. A reminder that Leon is only 21 years old here. Yeah. Whoa. First day on the force. Go around. Do you ever imprint your age on video game characters? Because I sure do. Like, I don't know. When I was a kid, I figured Leon was like, way, like adult, you know? Yeah. yeah, just like way beyond any age you could. Yeah. Well, it's like 35. Yeah. You know, no concept of that as a kid. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, like when you're when you're like a fifth grader, college kids look like they're like scary, yeah. huge, giant, massive adults. But now I look at college kids, and I'm like, what are you like high school? What is, how old are you? Are you like 15? You were, that was the weird thing about Fooly Cooly, knowing that that character was 12. Yeah. And the shit that was happening to him, it's like, how are you not just like freaking out? Yeah. He's 12? He's 12, and he's got robots coming out of his head, and he's just <laughs> fine. Yeah. Wait, haven't you been 12 before? No. <clears throat> Dude, sweet coding. Love it. Sanjay's ready for a Rocksteady game announcement. Dude, yeah, yeah, it's time. Show me the way of sweet coding, man. Sweet coding. I don't know why I said it. Sweet coedwin. 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 
<laughs> Coin All right, play. I'll play Suikoden <laughs> 2, you play Trails in the Sky. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Guess only one of those is happening. No. <laughs> Baby Driver. Oh, this is good right here. This is the first time we we're going to play Baby Driver. And then, I don't know, probably Hubert would tell you Dunkirk. I saw someone in chat asked between Dunkirk, Valyrian, and Baby Driver, what, what should they see this weekend? Ooh, Baby Driver. Please Baby Driver. Baby Driver. Please Baby Driver over Dunkirk? Do you agree with that, Hubert? Please see Dunkirk. In the IMAX. I like that adding the gun parts reloads the gun. Yeah. Oh, I'd say game. you don't driver. get the window? No. Because the reveal is already... Yeah. I went and saw Dark while. Tower over seeing Dunkirk, though, so... Hey, like, I'm a don't, don't kid, listen to me. And I'm pretty sure I look older than Kyle. Well, everyone looks older than me. Kyle's so like some kind of weird, nebulous, like... He looks like a thousand-year-old man and like a baby all at once. <laughs> ben, tell Ian Trills this guy is an awesome female lead character. That is actually true. That is totally true. I believe is nice. the fucking best. Does she oh, make the room, game? This room, man. Does she make the game ten hours long? Is there ten hundred? There's only one usage. That's really good. How long is it? Nope. <laughs> it's like, like really long, right? Yeah. Yeah. Forty-five, fifty. It's not necessarily how guns five. work. If you have. Parts of a gun that increase the functionality of the gun, they don't necessarily have bullets inside of them. Yeah, totally. Depends. Yeah. yeah. If it's another magazine, yeah. that would. But yeah, a handle wouldn't. Is Amityville Awakening good? I can't imagine it is. Is that another Amity movie? Kyle has a purple crystal in real life. He's a really good Wait, Kyle was awake. <laughs> Did he go back to sleep? He's asleep. Oh, man. Patrol Report, this one's new. Dude, Huber, I saw... Are you reading this? Yeah. We received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. Skulking. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I covered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic Small amount, though. That'd be small good. amount, fine. An electronic detonator. Who knows what that was 19 for? 19 parabellum <laughs> rounds. Infrared scope. Broken. broken. Parabellum rounds. Uh, Huber, I have a challenge for you. Yeah. In your next review, find a way to fit skulking into it. Skulking, okay. Skulking and soften. Soften, soften is like entry level word. Soften. I love that this just, has become a thing. Just, um, <laughs> just to hear Jones VO it. Soften. I also, I also love how we looked it up. Oh, I'm putting soften the T in that correct. every soften. time. And Twitch chat was just I'm like, nah, soften is better. Soften. Soft. Like they just chose. <coughs> I'm hitting that team with the baseball. Sorry. And then the British are like, Soften. Soften. Uh oh, these are your brothers in arms. Good thing it's your first day, so you don't have any emotional attacks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, I'm sorry. We just repeat the same names. We're on so like, I like a, we're this on is like the a six hour loop. loop. Yeah. So <laughs> when we stream for 50, you just see the loop over and over again. Well, like that that scene from Speed, where it's just a video. If the RE2 remake comes, thanks, Dark Knight. Good question. I understood that reference. If the RE2 remake comes with a box auto sort, <laughs> would you use it? Auto sort? Yeah. Would you turn that on? P no. No. All right. I like, I'm like no. meticulous. No. 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 Seriously, no. like I never get any of your movie references, so it's nice. Oh, uh, this is a cool one. This is just about being attacked. That's all it is. Just a ton of attacks. They're they're hanging on for dear life. They're talking about how it's really hard to find the ammo because the chief wanted it spread out. Spread out. And this is cool too, a nice like step up from the first game. Because in the first game you get you get the feeling that like this hit everybody real fast. Mm -hmm. That a lot of people, when they met their demise in Resident Evil 1, didn't even know what was happening. Yeah. You know, just like it just kinda like tidal waved over that mansion. Whereas in this, is this like they were barricaded and defending themselves, you know, like they, they actually faced this threat over several days. I always think of the cutscene in Resident Evil 3 when they're fighting in the streets. It's really cool. And they're like equally as afraid of humans as the monsters, right? Because that's where they move the ammo? Because like people might riot? Exactly, exactly. Well, and the chief wants to like cause chaos, confusion. Oh, because he's crazy? Yeah. I think he played Suicoden. Um, a Sweet tiny bit of toe, two toe. A tiny bit of two, but no, not really. Not anything meaningful. Sweet good. Oh, I also think I played a little bit of five, randomly. I think I rented it from the Blockbuster down the street. Blockbuster. Say it again, one more not time. anything to be meaningful. Say it one more time. Though. Say it one more time. The Blockbuster down the block street. Blockbuster. 
Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Blockbuster. I used my gift certificate that my grandma gave me for Christmas <laughs> to rent the Sui Coden 5. From the Blockbuster. <laughs> From the Blockbuster down the street. Alright. Items. Getting a little getting a little OCD here. Here we'll do items like down a little bit. Camo up there. I don't. It was either three, four, or five. I don't remember which one it was. Do you go that crazy, Jones, where you want like your pistol and the pistol ammo there, the shotgun? Yeah, with the with, with your personal inventory, I didn't obsess so much, but the uh, yeah, the the list of vertical list of stuff, the briefcase in RE four. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh man. I'd rearrange it and then I didn't like it, so I'd rearrange it again. And, oh. When I'd get like an egg, I'd be like, oh, where's this gonna go? Uh, move everything around. I super played Sweet Code in 3, but I don't remember it very well. Just I feel like the Resident Evil Retro was one of the most enjoyable ones for you to do. Is that true? Jones? Sorry, what? I, I feel like the Resident Evil Retro <laughs> was one of the most enjoyable ones for you to do. Jones cares that true? Uh, the most enjoyable Retro for me to do was Metal Gear. Because that was complete co op with Damiani. So. As much as I loved RE2, I got I played a lot of those games for the first time, and so I was nervous. Like I'm not speaking from experience, from like nostalgia. I'm you know like I'd never played Outbreak, I'd never played like Dead Aim and Survivor and some of these like weird games. Dead Aim. Uh, whereas Damiani just played all of the games and wrote all the scripts. So like going in editing that, I knew like I know this works. I know this like. That the 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 script is up to snuff. Mm. Where I was a little afraid that I was going to do the series justice when I did this. But Tommy, um, I was asleep too. He's on the. That and some of these games were terrifying, man. When I was playing sure. Outbreak, I was I was very scared I was not going to finish it, and I really wanted to get the end of that game in that retro. But uh, too spooky. Also, the the music in Metal Gear. Oh my god, I could cut to that music for days and days and days and days. Whereas you should do that. Music in RE2 is good. Nothing wrong. But yep. uh, well, you don't like. This weekend is going to end, and I'm going to be pissed off that we did not finally do a full playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> and Mario Sunshine is fine, but Metal Gear Solid, the theme. Metal Gear Solid 1 the theme. is one of the greatest we games had of all time. We've never done a full playthrough of it, and that sucks. We, d we haven't. No, we it's, haven't it's, done a full playthrough of it. So it sounds like Konami has all that crap like locked down with all kinds of weird crap. Well, Konami copyrights. can just deal with it, because Wait, I've finished not... the game like 40 times, and it needs to be done justice. How have we not full playthrough with that? Yeah, exactly. We started a playthrough at GT, Huber. And then we never finished it. Wow. And it's really upsetting. That's Full an oversight. Through. It is an oversight. That needs to be redeemed. Try not to get upset, but now Full I'm really upset. <laughs> I mean, Man, did it come up? Did it come up? Well, I was in Iowa, so <laughs> I could not be reached. <laughs> I could not be reached. Dude, I want to make... I want to, you know, be like a billionaire and then like make my house have just like elaborate puzzles yep. like this. Yep. Like it's been a lifelong dream. There was a really funny sketch at the end of one of the Silent Hill zero punctuations. I mean, like say whatever you will about whatever, but like it was about. He's a clever man. A what? Uh, about the the sketch was really funny though because it was. Every time the phone rang, and it was him being like a carpet cleaning guy, just trying to reach some someone, and he keeps getting the wrong number, and then he's like, look, I'm having a really bad day. I lost one of the three symbols I need to open my front door, and I'm stuck out of my house, okay? I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> it's just that's like, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's one of the things that's so effective about the remake of, uh, about RE1 remake, is that a lot of these diaries that you read speak to the absurdity of, of this house. You know, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Even people that work there are just like, oh, God, that's right, I gotta go it's talk to that one stars. guy because he's got that dumb key that lets me into this one room. It's Star's it's office. Tasty. Speaking of Resident Evil 1, one. this is where they worked. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so wait, they were Andre, part, welcome back. They were part of the Raccoon City Police Department? Yeah, you want to see me in? Boom. Oh. oh. There's the crew. Jill. That's really cool. Jill, yeah. Man. Here we can you the people in this picture? Is that Barry top right? Uh, yeah. Not the best guy? With the grenade like, launcher? Who's the guy on the top right. left? 
I have no idea. Like, who the hell is that guy? No idea. That's Enrique next to Chris on the bottom. Forrest down there. Hmm. Who's next to Jill on the right? Red bandana guy? Yeah. That's Chris, right? Oh no, red bandana, that's a... Uh... One of those dudes is named Joseph. Maybe Joseph is very top left. Joseph! Yeah, there's like two which, two unaccounted for Which though. one's Chris? Wesker's got the shades on. Yeah. Is, is Chris center middle? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's so good. It's funny that it's funny that Chris, Jill, Barry, wait, and Wesker are wait, like is Rebecca all in right that picture? to each other. What man? Is Rebecca in that picture? No. Nope. Okay. Who's Rebecca? Rebecca Chambers. Maybe she was like the new. Medic. She's too new. Oh, yeah, dude. You know. Rebecca Chambers. Don't is my worry. favorite Resident you'll character. Get, you'll get your Rebecca. Yeah. You'll get your Rebecca height. I she, just wish they would put. Yeah, wasn't she supposed to be that's, a, that's a newbie? It. Isn't that the whole thing with her? Yeah. Yep. She's a newbie. I don't Man, remember her at all. It's Man. too bad that like you play as Rebecca in a game that is not better than Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> oh, that's it, right? That's what she. She's in one though, which is cool. Yeah, it is cool. And she's in that new movie. Is that she? Is, yeah. And I don't like what they did with her character in it. Huber's, Damn, Huber's that's not trash. what I was hoping you were going to yeah. say, Huber. One of the weaker parts of the movie. <laughs> Rebecca was Robert Team, that photo was Alpha Team. No. Okay. It's trash. It's trash. No, I'm that's sorry. that. No, 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 no. This is Alpha and Bravo. Straight Ooh. up. Yeah, yeah. I trust Huber more than I trust you, Chad. <laughs> Just straight up. Oh, and she's in Vendetta too. Yeah. But you didn't like what they did with her in Vendetta. E yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't care for it. Please forgive me, Claire. All right. We are loaded. Did he say it probably reflects his owner's instability? Yes. Yes, I, yes you will. Yes, I will take the Magnum, thank you. Yes, I will take the Mr. X Killer. Oh. <laughs> it says that on the side of it. Mm, don't use this on anything. I Mr. feel like X. you are more of a master at Resident Evil than any of us are a master at anything. <laughs> that is not true. Dude, he got bit by a zombie like right away in this campaign. Yeah. I'm not like, Damiani, Zelda, it's called entertainment. Dude. Damiani, Zelda. I, I'm not saying I'm not entertained. I'm just saying I'm not impressed. Brad <laughs> Bloodborne. <laughs> you were spamming the desk just because he was talking to Jones and Ben. No, I got the film. Yeah. You have to spam it to get yep. the film. Like yeah. really? Like yeah, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna sure show you right now. You know, I didn't know that. You know, like, I thought you were just looking. Over I did. Oh, Ian, you're Huber, I did a. I did a pop fact on this. No way. Yeah, I did. I did. This is what. This is my. I remember the save room. This is like the one pop this fact I did. Dude, Dude, Rebecca Cham ben, Chambers uh, photo. Dude, I don't yeah. want to watch that, Ben. I was really. I God, I want to do more. Wait. Pop so facts. wait, is this a secret or something? Yeah. No, I mean it's it's a pretty mild secret. But but you have to spam a desk to get it. Recruit! Yes, this is what I oh, do. Oh, wow. Rebecca. There she is. So, so it's like a pervy wow. high school gym. No, she's got RPD outfit. She's got RPD, she's, man. She's, she's a recruit. Oh, right, yeah. She was just balling. She's in the baseball team. I wish we could get all the other basketball she photos, too. Like yeah. Chris. Like, you know, like, like, like Barry. What does even mean? Shooting a three. He's down. He's down. <laughs> talking about? Yeah, ben what? hasn't spoken in four minutes. Really. Yeah, yeah, he's down. Come Anything on. you should be asking me to use <laughs> <laughs> right, Magnum. Good morning, Saving Quantum it, saving it. Save it up. Um, I, I never knew that. I didn't know this game had like weird secrets like that. I think ease down was referencing knees down. Paris the coach. Because they were like oh. when you, when we were talking about Bossman knees down. Right. Ease down. Some people were saying ease <laughs> down. Ease down. But it's knees we're gonna, down. We're gonna count that as well, y -S ease, down. ease down is from alien. Ease down. Ease, ease down. down. You blow the transaxle. You're just grinding metal. Ease down. Ease More down. Film. Take it. East. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's East exactly down. what I want. East down. <laughs> East down. East down. East down, Ben. East down. Wise. V I I. I. Ah, one more. Sorry. <laughs> East down. Little little back tracky. Got some more film. How many is on this film? What is on this film? 
I think it's a sick zombie corpse. Oh, sweet. It's either a zombie corpse or the tyrant. I hope it's also in a Super pumped for the Tekken tournament tomorrow? I hope the Tekken tournament is just like the sloppiest, most desperate thing ever because we, we've been streaming for 50 hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's most the only way that. That's what it should be. This looks cool. Picture in front of the Arcurus Taylor regress into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis in addition to feelings of nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Did you taste it? He didn't make it. What's the death count at? 277? Seven. Yeah. 277. Man, I wish Geese was out for Tekken. Predictable. In the fighting games, we don't count deaths. Is that the deal? Unless there's a fatality, Mortal Kombat. Uh, I would count that. Do you have Tekken character recommendations for the allies that you feel will fit them? Oh yeah. Oh. Giovanni, yes, it was. Um. Blood's puzzle was very good. And I, had the I could see, I could see like Ian doing Katarina very easily. Uh, Hubris Kuma, obviously. Yeah. Don, Don is Claudio for sure. Don is definitely Claudio. Who is Blood? Blood is Dragonov for sure. Brad is nice. Brian. Brandon, maybe Paul, maybe mm -hmm. Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyle Eddie Gordo. <laughs> Damiani, Lucky Chloe, for sure, 110%. Who am I forgetting? Gaia. 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 Is that everybody? Nice. I need more pistol ammo, Jones. Really need more pistol ammo. Real question: Who's Kuma? Huber is Kuma. Who did you say? Katarina? Yeah, Katarina. I, I can totally see you gravitating towards Katarina. So these uh these hats down there are the welcome party? Yeah. For Leon, supposedly? Yeah. Do you think, I can also see think that's standard RCPD procedure, or are they just like super pumped about Leon? Probably standard procedure. So they didn't buy those just for that, they got them in like a, yeah, a cabinet somewhere that they break like, it out. Because the conversation you have with Katarina with Alves. him is like, oh you must be the rookie. So it's not like, hey, Leon, like, you're here. I guess your party is canceled. Yeah. <laughs> I stand by blood being Dragonoff. I stand by that. Dragonoff. Her eyes are brown, but not visible due to the sunglasses. That's what the wiki says. Yeah. There you go. Use this key over here. Uh, but Kyle being Yoshi missed you, I can see, too. I think Ian the Yang like race. Leader. Good night. What, what? Somebody said they think you would like Lily, and I could see where they're coming from. Lily? I like them. I, I like Lily a lot. I like fast characters. Maybe I just didn't want to give it up. Lily's fast. Yeah, but Lily does Katarina fast. Katarina's fast. Yeah, I think you'd like Katarina. I really do. Just like play styles and. Uh... What about me, King? Oh my. Katarina the bitch. I'm too attached. Cats. Like I, I was trying to learn Elisa. And then I was just like, but why am I not playing king? Sabate, the French variant of kick oh, kickbox. Maybe maybe, uh, Sabate translates to old shoe. Brad is Brian for sure. Brad is Brian or Hua Rong. Nice. Make it a double. I just realized that by the time we're done, this light will have been on for 50 hours. <laughs> Ben going mini strips. I don't have to go with King. I can go with her. I don't care. I mean, I too am a scrub. We are all of us. I scrubs. Huber, when you played the yeah, the Resident Evil 1 remake on the yeah. Nintendo GameCube, yeah. and you walked up the staircase in the Great Hall without mm -hmm. a loading screen, how did it make you feel? It made me feel really good. <laughs> Really good. I remember getting the game in the daytime. Whoa. And my mom helping me hang a blanket over my bedroom window <laughs> to like That's black so it awesome. out. <laughs> so good. Oh, that's a good story. So you could do what? Black so it was like black in the, the bedroom because I got oh. the game in the daytime. 
That's so good. How old were you? I'm like freshman or sophomore, so like 14 maybe. Formative so. years. Well, fashion-wise, Lily for sure. Especially with these purple tights, my god. Purple tights? What are you looking at? I'm Googling these characters. Oh, Lily? She's got this cool alt costume. I like the... I like the Lily in black better. Well, I love for your mom in chat here. Oh, they have roses on her tights though. Yeah, Lily's awesome. Lily is one of my favorite characters in the game. She's my character now, but I'm sorry. All right, that's fine. I want to give some credit to Mrs. Groats, Jeff Groats's mom, who, when I realized I did quite have enough cash to buy both the Atari Jaguar and Aliens vs. Predator. <sighs> Oh, you got the Jaguar when the Alien Predator She like, was she like lent me like 10 bucks. I don't think I ever paid her back, too. That was why. We were like, we were both went to EB Games at the same time to get it. You should show up. Oh, you should show up and so like, oh, I'm so short. Like, that, that's what the, you got She's the Jaguar like, with the go. AVP oh, as yeah. a launch. Oh, yeah. Oh, I man. bought the Jaguar for AVP. I mean, it was the AVP console. That was it. I remember buying, I got the Jaguar and I pre ordered AVP, which was supposed to originally come out, I think, like a month after the system came out. And it ended up coming out like maybe nine months later, or a year later, and it was the most horrible year of my life. I had a Jaguar with like <laughs> nothing to play but Trevor McFur and the Crescent Galaxy, I think I had to get or something. Cybermorph, Cyber too, isn't obviously. Yeah, Cybermorph Cyber is super good. good. I mean, it hasn't really held up. For a then, Jaguar game. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely one of the better ones for I've never played a Jaguar. Doesn't we are it, on track. Doesn't it have like the crazy, Killing almost it. like intelligent controller where it's got so weird, not lost What's or that, anything? Uh, got good ammo, like this, but supplies. and why is it useless? Because it only had three practical buttons and a little keypad. I think maybe I'll throw a save down here. Don, I would give. I Don, I would give Things anything for you to do a video. What's up? Time for a save, maybe. Uh, oh sure. Just in case. Really? Nice, dude. First save. I'm excited to watch that. Save it up. Just in case. Jaguar was a scam. I got the Jaguar <laughs> CD too. Some good progress. I think the the safe room theme from every game is so good. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's like funny. it's like sad happy. I don't know how they did it. Yeah. I don't know how it fills you with glee, and yet it's just so somber. It's like, it's the perfect song for a room that you saying. feel safe in, but you're super depressed because you know you can't stay in. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Take care of these. Ben, favorite fighting game of this generation? Ooh, favorite fighting game of this generation? Yep. Um, probably Guilty Gear XR, but Tekken 7 is like right there and could be the top one at any moment. Wow, I didn't know you liked Guilty Gear XR that much. Yeah, yeah. the safe room theme in RE7 is really good. Well, I'm not that into Street Fighter 5, so... Yeah. I want to play Tekken 7. I haven't played it at all, ever. Tekken 7 is really fun, man. It's really fun. I think you should teach me how to win. I don't know how to win, so as soon as I figure that out, I'll let okay, you Okay, know. yeah. Text me. There should be a plug right Yep. I think the right answer is DB Fighters. Yeah. I, do too. <laughs> I also think that's the right answer. The death counts at 277. Uh, no death so far. It's not going to move for a while. Then <laughs> when we get a One so. Piece fighting game like DBZ is getting, that'd be sick. Maybe DBZ will open the doors for other things. Ben is such a fighting game. What? Oh, yeah, I do need to continue. What the fuck? <laughs> So stating an opinion makes you a hipster? Yep. I like the surge, that was fun. That didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> What's that, you hipster? That's right, yep. <laughs> Injustice 2 is very good, it's probably my favorite of this gen. I don't play a lot of funny games. Injustice 2 is very good. And I like DC Comics. <laughs> my hero I can do so, a it's probably that. Ease down, man. Ease down. Ease. I think they meant, I think it was the joke on knees down. Yeah. There was confusion. Dude, yeah, dude, I, I need to finish the surge for sure. Who's asleep right now? Uh, Brad, Brad just crashed, Brad, and Brad, Bossman's been Bossman. asleep for bed, Damian. Dang. We're on, we're on target, guys. We're looking good.
No hiccups yet. Not lost. Emmy Genji, it's it's building, building the building the tension. He was also very good at this game, so. You throw a couple deaths in here in this first part, and. He gets crazy. This How many hours? Crazy. You, you don't know handle do you think Mr. It'll X. Take you? What's up? How many hours do you think it'll take? You? Four total, probably. Three hours and forty-eight minutes. Oh. What is that? Oh, this. Oh, this is so What's good. Your guess? Scared the crap out of me. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, yeah. about, that's, that's, what, he, that's about what he did on Claire. Yeah. Uh, uh. I don't think Bossman and Damiani are even sleeping on the same floor. So there you go. Bossman is. Yeah. Kind of almost directly below. Whoa. Damiani. Yeah. I think Get on every time. The master Bos bedroom is above the garage. Bossman yeah. secluded himself to the west wing. He said seclusion in the west wing. Two shots. I love when it's two shots. And just as two. Is yeah. Finally, oh, yeah. caution. Do it. Eat that. Do it. Yeah. yeah do right. it. Right. Eat that. Nice and fresh. Yeah. So fresh. Okay, plug. Nice. Then that's a little witch academia. Enjoy the episodes that came out to Netflix. Yeah. Uh, I'm still working through the series, but yes, it's very good. <laughs> oh man. So wait, who has not finished the Netflix Castlevania? I haven't. Haven't seen it. Yeah, I don't have Netflix. So. I will. Four episodes. Super chill. Yeah, it's so good. It's basically just a little like prequel movie or something. Uh, ben, my brother did not like the Castlevania series. Whoa. Your brother mm. didn't? Did not. Yeah, it's been kind of divisive actually. Because really? he's yeah, like, I loved it. because he's like, I just, it. and this is hilarious because I was like, wow, I'm really surprised. Why not? And he's like, I just, he's like, don't take this the wrong way. I just can't get into anime. So imagine me, Ben. <laughs> Mm. Explaining the 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 positiveness of anime to my older brother. Also, it's a Western. Yeah, it's good. I mean, that's totally fine. People have their preferences, and they like what they like, and they don't like what they don't like, and that's nice. there's no there's nothing wrong yeah. with that. But I think people see like one bad, either one bad anime or one bad thing associated with anime, and they're like, well, all anime is shit then. Yeah. And I, yeah, I think that's just uh, everybody just very narrow view. They need to stop starting off with Perfect Blue, and they won't be so depressed about it. Perfect Blue? I've really- I have not seen Perfect Blue, but I've oh, seen people talk about Perfect Blue. It's real sad. It. We should have a Perfect Blue Serial Experiments okay. Lane Marathon, yeah. Club. and just like, cry forever. <laughs> Alright. I think Every I have all the Serial Experiments Lanes and DVDs in my house. Everything through, uh... Pac-Man versus is up. Um, I've seen juice. Paprika. Thank Have you. you. Seen Paprika I've blood. not seen Paprika. Or wait, is really good. I might have seen Paprika. Cool. I've seen Paprika, but I've not seen Perfect Blue. I also haven't seen Tokyo Godfather. Paprika's the one where she's an actor. No, that's uh, that's Perfect, Perfect Blue. Blue. Yeah. That's, is she also an actor in Paprika? No. No. Okay, then no, I don't think not. I've seen Paprika. I've for sure seen Perfect Blue. I had it on DVD. I spent twelve hundred dollars on anime DVDs when I was in high school. Really? Did I ever tell you that? Yeah, I spent two hundred dollars on anime DVDs yesterday. I spent like hundreds and hundreds on every while we were here. Dragon Ball while we were here. Because <laughs> yeah. I worked, this shop does too much. Yeah, right I worked forty somewhere. hours a week. Ice cream shop, couple and couple chotsky shops, and then anime right there. So I just bought anime at Suncoast Video for thirty dollars a DVD. It's and then I did the math. Yeah, probably like, spray. Oh my God. spray. You had Suncoast Video. Oh yeah, Millennium Actors. Up north? There's a Sunkos video in the Maplewood Mall, yeah. The next person that says so East Down That's so funny to me because, like, I think I just associated... <laughs> You're, if you say East Down here, you are getting banned. I'm letting you know. Uh, yeah, I think I just associated Suncoast Video as being, like, some local Florida thing because oh, it's really? called Suncoast Video. Yeah. I was wondering what you meant when you said up north. Uh, that's right, Florida. Oh, I've been to Suncoast, <laughs> yeah. I was like, he... Suncoast... Yeah, Suncoast was very repressed and definitely existed in the Midwest, so... I don't know where they originated. This hat was twelve dollars. Good value. Good value. It's falling apart. You've already got your money's worth. Yeah, I've got my money's worth. It was worth it for the sneeze pay. down. Sneeze down. Sneeze <laughs> down. It's good advice. Don't sneeze up. Nobody wants that. Dude, where did that? Yeah, what the heck? What? They're coming back? What? Whoa. Hesitation, hesitation. Oh, this guy's like out of frame. 
Is this normal? I don't remember it, but I suppose so. Yeah, you get that. Mezzoli just subscribed. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I don't Thank you, Mezzoli. I wonder if it's these ones that came through the window here. <laughs> nope. Why the shoddy on him? Close. Oh, nice. nice. Clutch. Nice. Yeah, and I'm kind of running low on piss rods. Are you gonna pick up those herbs? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Herb. Nice to meet you. Please frown. Please frown. <laughs> <laughs> Please frown. You've blown the smile out. <laughs> You're just making sad faces. Oh my god. Please frown. <laughs> Please frown. <laughs> Oh, oh, give me a twofer. It's late and that's really funny to me. I think it's just really funny. Well, that too. Nope. Two related but separate comments. Look at these headshots. Huber, the confidence of leaving 15 shotgun shells in the thing. I brought them around this time. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're getting... We're getting intense. We're going down those stairs. This oh, yeah. Here, right? Gotta so get that club. Leon B is just the one you've done the least? Yeah, I think it's the hardest. Why have you done More the zombies. Least? It's the What's up, Blum Camp? Good evening. Good evening. Oh, yeah, we're hungry. Hungry for more Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa, Jones. Yep. Sweet. I'm starving right now. Take my for headshots. <laughs> well said, Jones. <laughs> Well said, Joe. I have a way with words. <laughs> oh, what's happening? This guy's got like Rohan pants. <laughs> yeah, man. Taking the hits. There's a lot. There's a lot of zombies around here. Like this guy Station. Wants some? Station. 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 Like too many damn zombies. Feel the kill. There are no crimson heads in this, though. Thankfully, no. Yeah, that was... Only a remake. Man, those had such a level of insane stress. Did they, when they added crimson heads, they also added the lighter and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, the, like, you the lighter, corpse but... Right, right, but that yeah. wasn't in before at all. Yeah. Right. God, that was such a good addition. So, yeah. Crimson heads are horrifying. They really are. The first time we played it, we didn't know that that was going to happen. Yeah. And that guy came running down the stairs. I was like, why is he going so fast? What's happening? This guy's dead. What's going on? So intimidating. Making the switch. <laughs> Bing. Keystone. Power supply? Okay. Back online. <laughs> Power supply? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Can't wait to get in there. That's gonna be a nice payday. There's more like... It's confined to the same areas in this part of the game more than I remember it. Mm -hmm. Raven Sword SOP. Three months. Things a lot are, of respect from Germany. Things are happening. RE2, one of the greats. Things are happening right here. Which one's the one with the shark that comes through? One. Oh, yeah. Neptune. That's the nice. name? Whoa! Oh, yeah. Who's that, Aiden? Welcome to the franchise, baby! <laughs> this, in, this is your introduction? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Ada hype. With the gun, like, crossed over. <laughs> <little bit. laughs> They're, like, four feet away from each other. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. You're not a terrible shot, though, Who Aiden. Who are you? How are you? No lip sync, Jones. Look away. Yeah. It's interesting, his, his hair is super red in the cutscene in the beginning, but it's like RE4 style right here. Yeah. Interesting choice. What's funny to me about Ada here is like, she looks a little bit more normal. I feel like later on, like, they really like dolled her up a bit. Well, Leon, they like made 
Neo from <laughs> Matrix. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then what they do with Chris is ridiculous. Yeah, they over yeah characterize if we everyone. Together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Give me a hand here. Ada, hi. Ada, wait. We'll get there. <laughs> Does he say that? No. I don't think they've ever fucked up Ada. Like, she's always good. Dude, Ada Even in, in six, Resident Evil really 6 is... I'd still okay. like her. I still... No, I still like her in 6. <laughs> she's in 6, too? Yeah. Do you play as her in 6? Yeah. Whoa. Chris has a substance abuse problem. Clone? Something happened. He's, he's he overcompensated. He saw the threat. And then he he wanted to, to He wanted to prepare himself, but... He got ripped or something? Yeah, it just bulked out crazy. They've all had hard lives. None of these Ada people wait. have happy lives. Ada, wait! <laughs> Sniper Booyah, I keep on living the easy a dream. Greetings from the Netherlands. Love and respect. Nice. That's a good message. Hello, thank you. Thank you, Sniper Booyah. 17 months. No. You guys believe it? Eat one of those. Eat it. 17. Oh, you know, okay. no, I try not to think about it. We a triple. Ooh. Don't play six. It's terrible, not worth it. That's true. Sticks that, two? That's sound advice. <laughs> sticks two. Six two or one? Resident Evil six. Oh, I thought they said sticks. We've reached that point of the night where we're going to start sticks. interrupting things for yeah. sticks. I was like, what we're, we're talking about <laughs> sticks right now? Yeah, the game. Well we are now. I liked the first one. I never beat it, but I enjoyed it. Don't play Sticks 6. No, yeah, Sticks is fine. Kyle yeah. just hated it, and you just gotta get over it. Sticks. What no, are the sticks blue herbs like for? Poison. What do you like, uh, Sticks 6? I thought that one was one of the better ones. Oh my god. Oh, wow. You're a regular oh, hey. Sticks of Diaz. <laughs> what, you don't want that other one? He ain't getting poisoned. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Get up. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? <laughs> now. It's Ben. <laughs> what do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. See, he's got Leon's hair. <laughs> Who's hair? That's the color Leon's hair is in the opening. Oh. Is this the guy? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? What did you tell them? I love that VO. I love that. Are you? Like that implication. I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. <laughs> and even if I did, hey, why I would that. I want to tell you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? Got it right here, officer. I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? For example. Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? What? If you want to live, you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but yeah. it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. <laughs> Point. 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 Blue. All right, folks. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to Blue. Uh, can I do? Bye, everybody. Thanks for sticking around for a while. Yeah, this is fun. Bye. Good luck, Hubert. I'm sure you'll crush it. I hope so, dude. Mr. X has not revealed himself for a long time. Hey, I like that uh, in Resident Evil 1 Remake, you find her boyfriend's computer that works in Umbrella. Oh, yeah. And her pass and the password is Ada, because they mentioned in this. What's Ada in the, in the original game? 
In Resident Evil 1 original? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah, means. dude. Dang. That's how that was huge. When he bumps in and she's like, hi, I'm Ada. I'm looking for John. I was like, oh, it's Ada! Like, well, that was a huge deal when this game came out. Yeah. Because that's what's in the first one? You, uh, it's just Ada's like, you know, you pick up all these notes, and Ada was just a character mentioned in the notes in the first game. Oh, really? That, uh, there was a, you get into the, the part at the end there, and there's a guy, one of the scientists' name is John. Yeah. And yeah. he writes a note to another scientist and says, uh, the password is, um, or I think, no, he, he say, he's sending a letter to her. Yeah. Man, I totally thought it was a remake thing. And so when you meet her, you're like, oh, she's such a devoted spouse that she's trying to track him down. And like, not so much. <laughs> she's, got, she's got her own agenda. Like, I'm sure she cared about him, but yeah. it's not not quite as uh, she's like romantic as you think. Yeah. Gray, right? She works for Umbrella or something? Telling Huber something about Resident Evil yeah, feels Jones, good. Yeah, you got yeah. me. Shoot. You got me. Zero... And then draw. Oh, ben went to sleep. Two months. He knew. Ben yeah, knew. yeah, Ben knew. Ben knew. Ben knew when to get out. Ben ducked out just in time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, these are nice. The kind of, nice. These well are done. The kind nice. Of nice. Nice. We don't want that. Blood. Especially injured. We don't want it. Did they give you that one piece of herb for poison. That's it. Two. Two spray. Yeah. So. F8 spray will take it away. Ah. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Or no, the the. Okay, I'll give you one right yeah, here. I don't know if I have Facebook. Actually, I have Facebook. It's not, I don't think. Here we go. Red and blue. Oh, we can make a triple. Can you? Triple, baby. I didn't know you could do that. The red, red, green, blue. <coughs> I thought it was one or the other. You've never done red, green, blue, Jones? The ultimate concoction of herbs. Or does it turn gray? The ultimate herb. Yeah. You've done it. I'm sure you've done it. Powerful In herb. your travels. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In your travels. In your travels to Raccoon. What does gray do? Just heal. That he yeah, it's like the best heal. Just ditching all healing items. ZOVGM, he is a police officer. He's a trained police officer. So yeah, Leon does not react to those spiders. Is anyone going to keep Jones company for SSX? That's the question, Trader Ivan. That is the question. It's going to be hard. Just, uh, adjusting. If I did that, it would be an all-nighter. Europe's got your back, Jones. Thanks. Thankfully, Tricky is like nothing, nothing but jolliness. I would be having a heart attack if that controller was in my hands right now, Huber. Tricky? Uh, no, for this. But uh, Tricky, I don't know. Poof. Poof. Tricky's. Uh, you could say a day at the beach. Dragon Quest Builder Two Dreams. Yeah, my dream is that I, it comes out in America. <laughs> That's my dream right now. Oh, it'll that count. I can play that in 2018. That'd be great. It'll come. Builders 1, Heroes 1, Heroes 2, and 11 have all come. We're getting it, Jones. We're getting it. Just imagining Leon writing Leon B is right. really funny to me. Leon B. Leon B. <laughs> Storage room. Fourth, Two. fourth time I've written this. <laughs> Do you know what the S stands for? Scott. Ah. Ah. I believe the best SSX game is 3, but that's me. I believe the children of the future. Give them snowboards and let them see the way. Shred the way. <laughs> and let them carve away. <laughs> the latest SSX? I really liked it, yeah. I had a fun, fun time. I liked the DLC and... Uh, I liked that it had kind of that, like, I think it was one of the Burnout games that... Had the system where when you logged in, it told you all the scores that people beat of yours. Oh, yeah. So it was, it was fun to like boot up SSX and they were like, oh, dude, my buddy beat your score. And I'm like, no, he didn't. And then I could no, like, didn't. from that screen, could go the right bastard. to that course. And like, I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. Oh, my so it was fun, like getting a really good score and then like three hours later getting a text from a friend of mine that's like, dude. I'm like, that's right. <laughs> it's a dead end. 
Like I'm like I'm in the I'm in that commercial, you know. Yeah. They're like, you're gonna want to best your friend scores. Yeah. It's like that's so rarely happened in my life. I'll go and check. But uh, yeah. Hmm. Chicago, Boston Soldiers, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have problems with that SSX, but I'll take a mediocre SSX game over no SSX game. Hype time, Ian. Hype. Max hype right here, you ready? Ready. Who we are! Oh yeah, I remember this. We ate it now. It was like... I remember when this happened, I was like, yes! How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. I love how Aiden What'd you say? Doesn't care about Aiden. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, isn't she supposed to like let him in or something? Did that say cesspool? Yeah. We hate him now. We hate him. This is this is the opening area of dynamite. Fires faster than the end, cool. This does look like that area. Ooh. Should limited ammo? Nope. No. Oh, but she's got to see her reload. Man. It is the coolest. It's cool. Which she really do. is. Did she put on the, the locket? Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's a fun detail. I didn't notice that. Ooh. Dude. The local time is 1.34. At the time. Woke up, found the Easy the Allies playing Resident, Resident Evil 2, read the Dragon Quest Builders 2 announcement. Nice way to start the day. Nice. Great. Hey, you gotta see that gameplay, Rivas. Shotgun shells. The best feeling. Explosive shells. Dopamine Jones. Picking up shotgun shells. Shotgun. Classic box puzzle. Sweet. Gotta have a classic box puzzle in Resident Evil. What if they put a laser puzzle in Resident Evil? I'll be bummed. <laughs> Not a rake, I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So what do you think, Jones? I don't think I've asked you this. Um, Sweet Keck, sorry, real quick. Yeah. Uh, some of it's already up. You can go to Easy Allies Plays. Correct? That's what Blood said, right? Yep. Yeah, some uh, parts of it are already posted. Um, yeah, I think a lot of it is in the or the first like bunch of hours until I tried to upload that thing and ruined everything. Uh, are up, and they have the uh, annotations of which game is where on the Twitch archive. Excellent. You're saying Excellent. Uh, do you think Resident Evil 2 Remake will have an A and a B scenario like oh, yeah. the original? So like non-canon and canon ones? Think, or do you think it's unnecessary? Do you think, do you it'll think it'll just it'll be... be no, definitely necessary. Do you think it'll be a Leon, like just two big campaigns? you got all that effort to, to do it and then you leave out the two different ways the story can go. Mm -hmm. That would be a bold choice though, to just be like, well... We're gonna do two like. Like, do you think they knew what was canon at the time? No, because there's still part. There's still things where it's like, oh well, this from the non-canon one is still kind of canon. Like, it's not really official because they didn't know the grand like scheme of it all. So it's still kind of like s spotty. We did some beach stuff. Uh, you can check out Easy check Update, out which easy we just update. put up, and you can see Ian and Don up to some beach shenanigans. I had a nice walk today around the the perimeter. I think I might go for a dip tomorrow. The perimeter. We're on an so, island. So military. I do know they announced DQB2. DQB2. Oh yeah, done. Huh. DQB2. I'm sorry, you could be sitting on the couch. I don't need to be laying down Leon, taking up the whole damn thing. Can you thing. hear me? Uh, yeah, done. It's fine, I will begin sleeping. I gotta, I'm gonna go to sleep. Ada. Very shortly. Did you find anything? Thanks for the offer. There's a good uh, right natural break coming up soon. That's something you're interested in. Homer, I've been thinking about Steep lately. I've not checked out the DLC. Yeah, I'm curious how much Ubisoft wants to invest in that, because uh, that's a game that needs some uh, hey, I can't reach stuff added to it. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. 
Dude, Ada, role model. Yep. Ada, dude. What? Triple agent. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Sketchy. She plays for herself. <laughs> One note's really awesome. I found the girl, and I cleared the wreckage that was to think about. Got it. That's Claire he's talking to? Yeah. I found the girl. Oh, uh, what's awesome to think about is she's working for Wesker at this point. Yeah. Love that. Uh, pretty damn hype for Last Jedi, Wolf Daddy. Try not to think about it. It's I, I like when I don't think about it. I like when I get through a week and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. It's coming up. An episode is coming out this year, oh boy. In December, right? Yeah. Gold Boy 2. This is so relaxing. I think I'm going to end up falling asleep watching. Excellent. Gold Gold too, you put people at ease with this game. I know. It's, Boy, it's, all that health you're going in injured? That's why it's. No. no Spider Man? No, 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 no. Oh, this part? This is fine. Whew. Oh, this part? This is fine. Yeah, Jones, if I ever get if I ever get bit there, it's like a mark of shame for myself. I I, I feel you. Like, I think I've yeah. gotten injured in that hallway like once maybe yeah. in all the times I've played. But it's a scary hallway. It man. is. It is. I still go in with full health. I mean, we trying to prove. I'm glad I killed those dogs. Wet. Hmm. I don't know why it says that. Wet to metal quality. I will be, yeah. I would like to review Dragon Ball. It's Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball I would like Fighters, to review, yeah. dude. You no, I'd like to review uh, Builders, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> dude, if you snake, see if you snake ben, that from Ben, you if would never you, Yeah. <laughs> but I wonder if Ben and I will co op Builders again or. Uh... Giant spiders. This is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It is really weird how these games are so kind of, like kind of relaxing, like they're very stressful, but they're also like, especially if you're watching someone who knows what they're doing play it. Six shots. Very calming. Yes, last bullet, dude. Wow. My sun I got sunburn on my neck a little bit. Brandon, make a bet with Huber and have the consequence of losing for Huber to build with you in uh, Builders 2. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. Oh, that's sucks. Yeah, that. It's alright. This game owes you a shotgun shell, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, right? it does. Just what the dog? Oh, and the no no zombies in there because that's a. Yep. Yep. Because she opens about the case them out or what? Yeah, this isn't a Giovanni. This is a crazy year. Crazy. Uh, yeah, the giant spiders are uh, yeah Spencer Mansion creations that have gotten loose. Correct. Just virus. Just experimenting. Who knows how they got in that, like, tight little corner, but, you know, it's, it's an old game. Oh, this room's good. Oh, this room's real good. This room, this room, real this room good. feels great. It feels so good. Confidence building. The maximum dopamine. <laughs> For anyone that was there, present, during Claire A, this is the moment we're waiting, we were waiting for. Saved both items for this exact moment. Oh, man. Set myself a message <laughs> in the future. I love that. <laughs> it's like Bill and Ted. When we yep. get through this, <laughs> yep. I'm gonna come back and put that side pack in this locker. So wait, you can choose to take it and have her use it or leave it She for can, yeah. yeah, she can. That's whatever so cool. she takes is not there for this playthrough. So you can take both, you can take one thing. You can, Whoa. you take one thing so and, it, and it'll say like, we should probably leave it for Leon, but you can take it if you want, like, so. If you take both or if you take anything? If you take, yeah, I think if you take one thing, it'll, like, say that. 
Before taking the second, you mean? The Pulp Fiction submachine gun? <laughs> I love the Joker's gun in Dark Knight. The, like, uh -huh. pistol, the automatic pistol. Oh, yeah. Burst pistol or whatever it is. We're Pulp Fiction now. I have no qualms about using the this, this submachine gun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mazo. Just got back from going out drinking, and all I could think about was this weekend's 50-hour stream. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's tuning in. We appreciate it. Joker's gun from Batman 1989. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super long barrel. Really long. Nice. See it, doggies. Yeah, RE4 is one of the most playable games in existence, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, twist my arm and make me play oh, through yeah. that game. Oh, yeah, so good. It's also way longer than... Super long. Super long. When you get to the island, when they all have, like, submachine guns. It's like, oh, I always forget about this part. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was playing it on my the friend's... The guys with, like, the electric bats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like... I was playing it on my friend's GameCube for the first time, and I had to get it, like, back. And I, I remember thinking, like, okay, after this, it's surely done, and then it was the castle, and then I'm like, okay, after this, and then it was the island, and I'm like, all right. That's what I kept thinking. Like. I played the first Resident Evil, and you put the like the sun and the moon and the earth and the wind. I thought that was it. I thought the game was over. Oh, yeah. I thought the door was literally going to open, like, the end of the game, right. and that's, like, the first third. Yeah. It's like, whoa. It was a long game. Let's use the pistol while we can. Dark Knight says already forced too long. Whoa. Ooh. Don, you get Monday off to rest. Or you got to go back to work. Uh, I'm I'm taking Monday off, but uh, nice. I've got work to do, nevertheless. I never played RE4. Not that into horror. Does it hold up? Definitely holds up, and I wouldn't say it's that much of a quote-unquote horror game. Some it's, parts are pretty. Spooky. I think it's kind of the there, more flamboyant of the games of the franchise. Parts, it's a little, but yeah, it's little more right. emphasis on tension rather than. Horror. I think the most scared I got in RE4, the biggest jolt I got out of RE4, was there's a sequence where one character is being uh, is in danger, does not is not able to protect themselves, and you have a sniper rifle and you are oh, covering yeah. for that person. That is and intense, there, are, and you, so you gotta like, but you're looking through the scope, but because your 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 view is so limited, they love to just have people sneak up on you. Oh, got that chewing sound. Good Crazy. lord! <laughs> there are so oh, many yeah. zombies in this mode, or in this and B story. Yeah, yeah there are. It's like insane. If you've um, been managing your stuff, but uh, was... and so I heard that somebody was near really me. Satisfying, by the way. Like heard like a <laughs> when I was looking through the sniper scope and turned to my left, and there was a guy right there, oh, and he's yeah. not like a zombie. Like he's just a crazy guy, and uh, his face was like ah, he had like a smile on his face, and it was like ugh. So again, it wasn't like boo, like that kind of scare, but uh, poof. Just making sure. Throat and abdomen torn out. Nice. Uh, Jones, quick research break. All right. Maybe just like read this one. Sure, this sure. is a good one. <clears throat> August 11th. I finally had the chance to see the blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Uh -oh. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? September 9th. 
Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. But the only thing I imagined that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the Walking Dead. Whoa. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I've been feeling too good myself lately. Uh -oh. I'm sure it works out okay yeah. for everybody. I'm sure the Watchman oh. won't get his throat torn out. That is the that is the itchy tasty of this game. I think. That's the yeah. Sucks to be that guy. Letter. There's some uh, pinup girls there. Yeah. Classic Watchmen pinup posters. Fresh brew too. John's on a pillow, like right down here. All right, okay? all right, all right. Could be dangerous, but. Well. I think we'll be okay. It's not our house. <laughs> and I said, why don't you look in the umbrella stand? <laughs> You'll see, in the end, everything's nice. I love that somebody mentioned a specific scene in the Game of Thrones show, and they were like, I finally got to that scene, oh my god! And they're like, I know what everybody means now when they talk about it. And I replied, I was like, yeah, but you're fine. Everything after this is happy, don't worry. Yeah. That's as bad as the show gets. <laughs> and some people did not pick it up and reply to me. They're like, why would you say that? <laughs> like, it's like, what scene are they talking about? RW? It's clearly, yeah. yeah. Good old season three, baby. Good old RW. What the? Take the bite. Pay the price. Okay. Was he the dead guy with the dead girl? I don't know. Was he the dead one with the dead one? And then they were dead? You go to bed, Don? Buenas noches. Oh, Don, we're so close. You beautiful man. Close Good to video today, dude. Point. Wait like 45 seconds. Oh, sure. I thought you were going to no say problem. minutes. <laughs> we need a Jones no voice pack for Dota. I'm so down. I'm okay, down. I told, I told Ben Moore on multiple occasions I'm down. I, I don't know can the ins you, and outs of how to do that, and I wouldn't trust myself to wait, write a good just, script like, for that. Can you just make one yeah. and they can, you can upload it? I think it's easy to put in the, the game. That's really funny. So a lot of people make their own custom stuff. I'm Rank so down to do that. Dream hype? If somebody hands me a script <laughs> to do that, I will read it in two seconds. Well, I'll begin reading it in two seconds. I mean, record for dudes is a good movie. It's really sad. Extremely. Do not pause it on. Fire faucet? Puzzles, dude. Hooray! Was it worth it, Don? Oh. oh my god. <laughs> there he is! Yes. <laughs> Pick up! But it's cool, because he's in this room. So just go out the door and... You'll trap him. Run. Run! This is what I'm gonna dream about now. This is the last thing I'm seeing, so... <laughs> Man, I saw the trailer for that stupid new Annabelle movie. That's 100% right now. What do you mean? It looks amazing. Yeah, well, yeah, but just like the part of the trailer, it scared the crap out of me. Oh, God. Oh, there he is. No! Oh, boy. Oh, oh no! Oh, no, Huber. Yeah. Ubisoft. You hit there. It's all right. Oh, you're not gonna. Oh, okay. we're good. We're good. We're okay. good. You're not oh gonna I think I'm gonna use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna play it safe here. Smart, 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 smart. And then take the hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, you're still. Encounter. You ain't limping. Yeah. Encounter survive. All right, there you go. Down. Annabelle creation. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. X. Star. Yeah, that'd, be, three. that'd be so creepy if one of us like snuck in here with, and not getting on cam and just started like whispering back there. <laughs> and everyone's like, I swear to God, I can hear something. We're like, what? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Parcel time? I have watched me some Dragon Ball Z in my time. I just don't have a. Uh, you're asleep? I just don't have all the yeah. lore. I ain't got all the answers. Oh man, I just got my third wind. Oh. Did you? I, I could stay up, but I know I'm gonna regret it in the morning. If you're staying up, I'll stay up a little more. If I stay up anymore, I'll end up being all night. 
Here we go, Hugh. Don't just you and me. Right now, intimate. <laughs> just you and me. Intimate Resident Evil 2, Jones. Bye. 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 We're getting there, Jones. Boy, good, I good hope players. I can. I hope I can set up. SSX. SSX. <laughs> Yeah, you'll be good just Let on that PS3 that over there. And this is the- you got power over here for this. What's good is we're on PS3 now, now, Jones, so it's just a, uh... Yeah, a, a cable swap. A right? cable swap, yeah. Freaking me out over there, Jones. Sorry. <laughs> power down. He's kicking things and moving things. So Claire A's playthrough, obviously she gets the C4, she busts through here, Chief Iron's office. Oh yeah. Perfectly creepy. This is diary. Chief's diary. He basically talks about he likes hunting down people to kill them, and then he's gonna do it with the mayor's daughter. Umbrella's been paying him cash, and he was making it as chaotic as possible for the police force during this time. Could I turn the lights down? Ooh. Yeah, we could also... Uh... Secretary just complaining about the chief. There should be a crank here. Yep, we are looking good. God, I'm scared. I know what happens here. I know what you're doing, game. Look how intense he is. You gotta take the hit. You gotta take the punch. You just gotta take him. And like, you know you can get past it. But if you- are still scary. If you botch that punch though, if, if he hits you with that double axe handle, <laughs> the double blow, you're, you're toast. You are toast. Wondering where you rank Code Veronica. For me, it's my third fave after RE2 and RE7. I'm so- I'm the minority. I'm so happy somebody said that because Code Veronica is the most polarizing. I feel like it's Tap either- Tap it twice, three months. Thank you, getting cozy. Nice. Thanks, thanks. I feel like Code Veronica is always somebody's favorite or their least favorite. It's like all or right. nothing. How much is rent for the Beast House? Uh, it's not cheap. Freaking flies running around, dude. <laughs> Freaking flies. Yeah. Guess we don't technically need this for a yeah, I had, I had a bad history with Code Veronica. Totally my fault. Didn't personally own a Dreamcast. Yeah. So played it, like, at Jeff Gross's house, who I co-founded GT with. I played it with him. But, uh... Yeah. Never finished it until mm -hmm. way later. Um, I think... Because that came out on PS2, right? So, yeah, yeah, Code finally, Veronica Finally X, played it on PS2. They added uh, some really cool Wesker scenes on the PS2 version. They had, like, a straight-up cinematic... Is that the one in front of the mansion where he like sees Claire and he's like, "Oh, hello." No, that's oh, that's, that's in America. America. But like some other extra stuff at the end, and then like yeah, some cool encounters. Yeah, I really like Kovaraga. Again, I'm a fixed camera person, so I always I like the classics, like one, two, three, Code Veronica, you know. What games did you guys want to include in the 50 hours but weren't able? I was thinking about playing Clock Tower late night, but. Uh, just couldn't dig up a copy and um, wasn't sure. I, I thought it's, it's a kind of game you can get stuck in, and I just didn't. I wanted to have a nice flow here. 
Uh, what genre of anime are you into? Fighting, mystery, drama? Um... I like big action. <laughs> Jones, have you watched Death Note? I haven't watched Death Note. I tell you what I'm. I'll tell you what I'm. I'm. I'm curious by. It's, it's really good entry level. When I was in, where was, what city was I just in? I was in a hotel room, and it was on. Oh, it was Comic Con. Uh, and um, what is the Spider-Man cable jumpy large giant people, Attack on Titan? Yes. Tempted. Dude. Tempted Heavy. to make a run through that. All right, know? all right. That looks like my cup of tea, I think. Heavy duty, Jones. But I think it was like the end of season two or something. It was like one of the last episodes of that season. I was like, yeah, let's do it. And like, it's cool. Sick. You should watch it, dude. It's super good. Or Death Note. Death Note. It's really not that long. Yeah. I think you really like it. All right. Like, it's something you can, like. Ama is Amanda in that anime? Uh, she would be, yeah. If I, but, Dude, yeah. Not, not something she goes for. Death Note is the one. Oh wow! Is that why people are so bent out of shape by the Netflix thing? It's just like a nightmare. Yeah, people were saying they like whitewashed it, which is like the big controversy. Just having like a white person be the lead. I'm a big fan of Death Note. I really like it. Huber, favorite game show. Currently airing or of all time? I guess it doesn't really matter. I would say all time. Chris is right. Ooh, it's yeah. the culmination. <laughs> culmination. Tense. Um, Nerve wracking that show. Yeah. And do you can you count the Amazing Race? I'm, I'm an Amazing Race fan. I really like it. Uh, that's a reality show. Yeah. It's a reality show. Yeah. It's a season. True. There's no season of Price is Right. You know. The, story. the three classics. They might we, do all stars. Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy. Yeah, Jeopardy's a. Jeopardy's a mainstay, and man. Price is right. Jeopardy's so good. Bitter irony. The chief of police. Cold Trebek is kind of a jerk, though, so... That's one thing that kind of... Kind of stains that a little bit. Totally. You'd like it if a host was just kind of... Didn't get himself in there. Yeah, I can't believe, uh... Um... Wheel of Fortune... Is still Sajak and... and I and, know. And, <laughs> and they look... And white. That's they amazing. still look young. Yeah. Crushing it. Probably like the most stress-free job of all time. That's why they're just like, they look so young, they're cruising through. Here we go. Mail have I seen shit. Cowboy Bebop? I have. Long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. This is a good one. I think I watched the movie or something. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining stars, stars. members. Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. And Brad's the helicopter pilot who was in the bar in the beginning of this, right? Three. Oh, three! Oh, yeah. three! But he's also a secret character... If you beat the game under certain conditions, he'll be under the police station as a zombie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. Uh, we watched Narcos. I'm not, not a moment. I think my brother checked it out, but... No, but I love Jorge Padilla. Jose Padilla. I've deposited the amount of $10,000 to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I'm certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the executive board for Umbrella, Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the, re and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project, continue to monitor their activities, and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. We have a problem. <laughs> I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through a net. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I shall not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even Umbrella. I got, I, got a, I got a shocking take for you here. Hmm. Where are you going? Sholid Snake asks, Bully 2 or GTA 6? 
to the chemical GTA 6. Bully I have a feeling Dude. that's where I'll find John. Sorry, that's right. Bully. Sorry, Bully. Because I know GTA 6 is happening. Ada, yeah. Wait. Like, if I say GTA 6, you know, and then that, like, manifests it into, into existence, um, then that, the there. possibility for Bully 2, I think, drops. My expectations for Rockstar... GTA 6 is happening. It's gonna happen. But Bully 2, I don't know. My expectations are so extreme and unrealistic for Rockstar that I just... Anticipate wait, wait. playing as like a school student within GTA 6 <laughs> and Bully is just like in it. One of the characters, you're a kid and it's just Bully. <laughs> How crazy would that be? That'd be pretty hot. I, yeah, I would take that actually if it like, yeah, the, you just, there's like a school in GTA 6 or something and you go and it's like, oh, it's the school, it's the Bully school. Like, that would be great. All, all like no loading in between, oh. you know, it's like you walk right in the front door, no loading. God, that'd be sweet. But that's a that's a two gen jump, you know. That's that'd be PS2 to PS4 if Bully came out this gen. So totally. Because the 360 version is like kind of just like upres to PS2 version, right? Yeah. I also, I also just want to see Rockstar make that type of game where they they really dig down into a, a tiny open world, yeah. way more detailed. For way like sure you does. see someone walking down the down the street, like that, that's a that's a person. Like you reckon yeah. you know their first name, last name, what classes you have with them, like totally. who they're dating. Like yeah, doubling down on that would totally. be adding maybe some persona vibes where you like you can <laughs> see like who you're good friends with and how that affects what. Speaking my language. I was just saying, Giovanni took words out of my mouth. Bully 2 will be Rockstar's take on Persona. I mean, Charlotte Snake, uh, uh, Bully 1 was controversial. All you know? Rockstar games are yeah. in some, they, some they, way. They can't, I mean, other than Red Dead. Yeah. Brandon, we please tell Hubert that there is a Viking VR experience here in Waterford, Ireland. Plus, it is, it is an actual Viking town. I hope he will board the next plane to come. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish. Yeah, why not both? That's what I think. I think you vote for Bully 2, you, you get both. That's my both vote. Yeah, and, and totally, Jones going from GTA 4 to Red Dead to GTA 5 to Red Dead. Like, maybe throw something no. throw something in there, you know? Not Manhunt 3, though. I saw people yeah. suggesting. I'm good. Yeah, I'm probably good on that. <laughs> Fox News had a hissy fit with Bully, yeah. Because they didn't know, they hadn't played it. They assumed the worst. Comfy buns. Oh my god. I forgot you fight him here. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Should've brought my Magnum. Could have a death here. Could have a death on our hands. Sorry, I was focused on chat. I should've... Should've brought the Magnum. I should've, should've, uh, should've told you. He's not happy. Oh. We still got a lot of bullets left. price to pay, I think, for that fight. Yeah, the this ammunition's expendable and one health item. MC says, everything looks rusty in this game and I love it, yeah. Definite step up from the creepiness as far as the environments are concerned from RE1 to RE2. Oh, yeah. The graphical leap blows yeah. my mind. Yeah. You look at OG Resident Evil and then 2, it's like, how did you I, I was shocked off? when I went back to play, before Remake came out, way before Remake came out, uh, when the PS2 launched and I went back to RE1 just yeah. for, for kicks. Whoa. So bright. Yeah. All the lights are on. I was like, what? Like, uh, just yeah. shocker. I did not. Running off like that was reckless and stupid. You hear me? You're stupid. stupid. She's just staring. She's just like, shut up, dude. I was there, Leon. I know. <laughs> Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive. Red Dead 2 DLC Westworld. Oh my god. 
<laughs> robot, God. robot DLC. I'd be so down. I can't even handle it. Oh, 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 I hadn't thought of that. Oh, I can't. Oh. I have trouble sleeping as it is thinking about video games chat. That's not helping. No, no, I want that. Like robot. Yeah. Robots. We're due for like a sick Terminator or RoboCop game. Terminator and Ro versus Robocop, baby. Yeah. Or Robocop Terminator, definitely. Cannot smell good in that room. That cannot be good. Staining the pants. We'll take him. We'll take him. Might as well. Jones, how big of a bomb will the new IP from Todd Howard's Bethesda team, the guys who made the Elder Scrolls, how big of a bomb, meaning how bad would that be, or would that be like a bomb drop? I'm not sure. I don't think it, like, it's been teased for so long, so we know Yeah, I just, I, I just want Elder Scrolls 6, and we're, we're ready. Sewer Manager, they're just talking about irons coming around, hanging out. Five full heals. Yeah. We got the redder, which is nice. We want the redder. I feel comfortable with like just a couple more. Jones, what's the one thing you really want in Red Dead Redemption 2? I, it's not a game I think about that way. You know, it's not like, it's I mean, like it's not do, like yeah. Redemption was great, but there's no but. I mean, it's yeah. like just more, more of that. I agree, Jones. I agree. Um, I, I, I was not a fan of the other character you played as in Art and Redemption. You, you get a chance to play as another character other than Marston, other than Jack, Mar John Marston. Um, and uh, I did not like that person. For sure. So. <laughs> but given. No annoying characters. Dang it! Why it always does this? I hate this like spot right here. There. Okay. Yeah, he, he hit it first to cue the. There it is. That he's looking at it. Um. I would love yeah an und undead nightmare sequel. That'd be so good. The fact that they've done GTA V, though, with uh, three main characters, and then the tease of Red Dead 2 is like Seven. That, that posse, yeah. right? Do you still think we're going to play as all of them, Jones? Or, or what do you think? My pie-in-the-sky idea yeah. is that when GTA V came out, you had GTA Online. And then the, what they set up with GTA Online is it's a prequel to GTA V. So you're doing a lot of stuff with Lamar. Yeah. Because he's more involved with a lot of these companies and doing nasty stuff than Franklin is. Franklin's kind of not a part of that world. So it makes yeah. more sense that, like, you would deal with him. You deal with Trevor because <clears throat> Trevor doesn't know that Michael's alive and Michael's not really kind of laying low. So it makes sense that Michael's not involved. So they, they had you deal with those characters that would make sense that they would be involved in the prequel. And because you have, like, the context that online takes place entirely before GTA 5, then you can just do whatever you want in both the campaign and online, and it's it's safe. Totally. Um, Leon, that woman was Stone Cold, man, just leaves him there. Just leaves him there. Um, and so my crazy idea is that if you set up a posse in Redemption, if you start the game and you, you set up online that you're playing with other friends, you can play the entirety of the campaign and, and that with six other people. That would be insane, Jones. Holy crap. Because I think the, the, the three character swap wouldn't work with seven people. It's too much. You know, maybe conditionally yeah. they pick who you play or you can decide how many people in your posse. Seven could be like a red herring. You could maybe have as many as you want. It could be a three or five or whatever. Yeah. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, basically, basically there's, there's no wall. There's no prequel context for the online versus regular. Yeah. That it's, if, you, if you're plugged into the internet, you're, you're playing online. Like, people are running around your Red Dead environment. They might just pop up, kind of like uh, uh, Dark Souls. Yeah. You might be, like, doing a story mission and, like, some guy comes running in, robbing a bank or something. Ada, Ada Wong. Yeah, RDR Online is going to do it. I mean, they've made so much money with GT Online, it's ridiculous. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. There it is. And John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Yeah, I'm not saying it's what I want, Birdman. I'm just saying that's, that's my prediction. Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this... Rockstar's been billionaires for a long time. Surely. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? <laughs> it's capable of creating the ultimate bio... Gloop, we'll get an update on Red Dead. It's just any given Sunday, man. Any given Sunday. Any just... Any given you know, Monday. Just like Dragon Quest Builders 2 today. You just yeah. wake up one day and, oh, well, there we go, new trailer. Just one day. Precisely. My husband, William. Next trailer will be more story focused with the online tease at the end. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back in three weeks with another update to let you know how online will work. Totally. Where did you get that? It looks exactly like the one I gave Sherry. She dropped it. I've been holding on to it for her. Liar! Give it back to me! Too bad. Too bad. The BM knew the style. Too bad. One thing that really impressed me with Redemption was it was the first time in a Rockstar game that I saw an NPC in the open world. That I wasn't just like, walk to this space, and then yeah. like, oh, here they are in a cutscene, and then now you're in the mission, and the mission's over, and they're gone. You know, like, they live here, but they're not here right now, and never will be. And uh, the first one in a Rockstar game I ever saw was uh, the, the Billy the Kid grown up character, the, I can't remember his name, but the, the gunslinger. And uh, if you go to, uh, the bar where he hangs out in Mexico, he's there. And if you raise your gun to him, it'll he won't, or like the, the reticle will go away. So like you can't shoot him. Um, and I was like, whoa, that's cool. That is so cool. And then obviously GTA V doubled down on that with uh, Michael and Trevor and Franklin all being in the open world. So looking for more of that in Red Dead, the seamless integration of the all the uh, story characters. Yeah in the world at all times. I need it. Yeah, Last of Us 2 will be better than Last of Us. I mean, they're not, yeah, they're not gonna screw that up. Check out Glucifer? Sure, I don't know if Damiani wants to have an outro song. And I don't know after all the work we put into this if we want to get pinged right at the end of it for Please, no, using no. music we don't own. Yeah, we're not getting a GTA 5 expansion, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, interesting question. Why don't we watch uh, Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow? Overwhelmed by it. There's two. I blinked, and there was like 180 episodes all together. I, I kind of feel about those move, those shows the way I feel about Amiibo. It's like if one just stumbles in my lap, I will accept it gracefully, you know, graciously. Yeah. But I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't just watch one. I'd have to just yeah. completely dive in. And I mean, fact, Super, Supergirl too. And the fact, Jones, that like there's a guide to watch it in order. Because there's all these crossovers, right. so it's like I can't just watch all of Arrow, watch all of Supergirl. Yeah, it's like I have to watch this yeah, episode, yeah, yeah. and then point, it's and then, yeah, it's too Sorry. overwhelming. I remember watching Buffy back in the day and not watching Angel. I still haven't seen Angel. Oh, dude, Angel's sick. And so the the crossover episodes were hilarious because I had no idea what the hell they were talking about. Totally. It would start. It was like, well, that was crazy. I'm like, ah, what? God, I love Angel. <laughs> Love Buffy way more, but... I also sick. saw the pilot for Flash with Amanda, and the female characters on that show were rough. 
Amanda was kind of grossed out. She was like, all right, I don't know, watch this. They're just dumb. They're dumb and annoying, and, and the male characters, like, comment on how annoying they are. There's, like, one scene where the girl comes in and, like, raises a legitimate concern, and they're all like, okay, that's her again. I was like, whoa, like... What? Just, yeah, flash? not, uh, flash, yeah. Jeez. I mean, I'm, you know... A pilot's a pilot. Like, I'm, uh, yeah. is, that is no way indicative of the run of the series, but... But I love Flash. I'm so stoked that Flash is getting all this love. He's got a TV show. He's finally getting a movie with Flash in it. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, Flash is one of my the most promising things I think, other than Wonder Woman with uh, the Justice League movie. I thought our latest trailers jokes were so good. Like, I don't want to go this way. Oh, they're they're dying for a shotgun to the face. You're they want right. it. They're hungry. You're right. If I just shoot straight, we'll be. Uh, we did post a Cribs video. It's uh, the latest Easy Update, which is up now on YouTube.com slash Easy Allies. You can check it out. Oh, that's the worst. I don't even think it's supposed to go this way. Legend Season 2 is some serious payoff. Oh, oh no, Justice League will most likely suck. There's no question. There's, there's gonna be a some, question. There's gonna be some... It could be good. Don't write it off just yet. What is your favorite Dragon Quest monster? Hackzilla. Yeah, I don't know the names. I'd have, I'd have to look at a... a list. Hackzilla. The wizards are, the wizards are kinda cool. They're the little so, teleporting dudes. So many cool enemies. I don't know why I'm going this way. I'll be happy with Justice League if it's just a, if it's just a, you know, insane. <laughs> How insane Whoa. is that? That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Claire's A game right there. And this is like. Totally and it's not like you don't have context because the only way you could have played this is if you played that first. Yeah. So they know you know. Oh, it's so cool. That is so neat. No, I'm not tight. Yeah. The, uh, Ben's comment earlier about them milking Persona. I'm, I'm the same way with milking comic book movies. They're like, another one? It's like, like Black Lightning? Like, Yeah, bring them. Bring them. Milk it. More. Milk it. Will the DC movies starring heroes we haven't gotten proper blockbuster movies for would be the only ones that succeed? First Wonder Woman, then maybe Flash? I'd be so down for a Flash movie. I mean, to me, if the script isn't good in Justice League, that's it, you know? Oh, and the, the bricks, they're all there, the three blocks? It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. That's, that's, Kyle Bossman would freak out about that. Kyle would love that. Whoa, confused. Yeah, Flashpoint is one of the best DC animated films ever. That movie will have slayed? Yeah, I'm actually intrigued about the Batman. Like, very curious what does a standalone Batman film would be like in that universe. Yeah, it's in question now if uh, Deathstroke's gonna be in it anymore. Wow. It's getting re rewritten. They're rewriting it and stuff. Mm. I'm kind of like... Just middle of the road as far as like rewrites and stuff like that are concerned now. It's like, I don't think they're good or bad. It's like, who knows? Yeah. Who, knows? who knows? I remember being really nervous about Rogue One when I heard that they were doing reshoots. I was like, oh no, it's gonna suck. Yeah, it's and common. Like, like, if you read enough great. about it, it's just like, yo, reshoots are on every movie. Missed a Showtime? This is hilarious. You'll appreciate this, Huber. Uh, okay, so Commander Luke, mm -hmm. it's called Commander Luke Skywalker, is coming to Galaxy of Heroes. This is Luke Empire Strikes Back, blue lightsaber. You know, like, this is the iconic Jedi Luke yeah. from the original trilogy. Yeah. He is, he's coming in a couple, I don't know if it's like a couple weeks or a month. So I, I know when he's showing up. I know what I need to unlock him. And I know what I need to do to get those things to unlock him. Not going to happen. After all I've been playing that game, I'm not ready. 
Because they have certain events that you can unlock characters, and you have to have certain characters to participate in those events. Yeah. And uh, I, I just I don't have those characters, and I like did the, I did the math on like what I need and how to get the points to unlock the things and get them and up to a certain can't? level. And I can't. I'm I'm too far away from it. Yeah. What? That is ridiculous. Because I have a lot of high level characters, just not the right ones. And if you don't, and I, and I ha you need a uh, uh, the classic rebel party. Yeah. So you need. Luke, like crappy Tatooine rifle Luke. Yeah. Uh, Stormtrooper Han, Princess Leia, R2, and uh, old uh, Episode Four Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, old Ben. And I have all of those, uh, but my Obi Wan and my R2 are not ready. They're uh, not left. They're not high enough. Can you get them high enough? I, I don't think so. Dang it, Jones. Yeah. Did the math. I was like, ah. That's heartbreaking. Is there any other way to get him? Uh, well, I mean, eventually, yeah. Eventually, okay. they 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 make it tough. These guys look like they're from Doom. They look like the yeah. Doom guys. Yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, it was the same thing with uh, Thrawn, because you had to have the Rebels characters leveled mm. up for him, and I just I didn't read the fine print. I did not know I needed Rebels characters, so. Yeah. Oops. Man, I'm I'm sorry about all the. Uh... Oh 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 oh! Sorry about the backtrack in here, chat. Why? Climb, climb. I need the, uh, the wheel. Oh, Oat Studios. Oh, yeah, baby. Long Camp might be in chat right now, actually. Not Neil, but, uh. My, so fa good. my favorite Blum Camp. Dude. Love those. <laughs> love those movies. The shorts. Yeah. There's some even, like, if you go on the page, there's some, like, experimental, like, 10 second ones that are so weird. There's one with like a president, the presidential limo one is so bizarre. It's awesome. But in this era, I'm so all about uh, filmmakers experimenting with small things and not just like making a movie, leaving it, moving on, but just yeah. like making material around it. And... Age of Ultron was kind of a mess, yeah. Not as bad as... Batman v Superman, but yeah. I trust Joss Whedon with the Batgirl movie. I hope that comes through. Oh my god, yeah. Perfection. I feel that by the time we see any lanterns, it won't be Hal Jordan. Yeah, I don't. I'm fine. You can give me. I can have a Kyle Rayner. I can have a John Stewart. I can have Hal. I'm good. Yeah, whichever, whichever one you want to do. DC. Lantern. Green Lantern? Kyle Rayner would be interesting. Because Jon Stewart got his run on the animated series, which is really great. Um, he was I think he was one of my favorite characters in that animated series. Oh, they did a really oh, yeah. good job with him. Uh, not just because I love Green Lantern, but... Um, my favorite Green... Oh, the best moment in the animated series is when they go back in time to the Old West. Dude, and they're all like... Jones, we, yes. And they're like, we gotta get new clothes. Yes. And, and Lantern's just like... Boop. And he, he does this like he's all black. He's this badass black duster and a hat and the whole thing. At the ring, it's just like so sick. <laughs> old west episode. Yeah, that probably won't be Superman. It'll probably be Lantern, but I don't know. It might be Superman. If boy, if that ends up being Superman, I have seen Young Justice. I haven't seen season two. I saw season one of Young Justice though. Excellent. I like the theory that it's fantastic Robin. show. The Robin theory. That'd be cool. Oh, Robin. It's Robin. But didn't he die? Wasn't that kind of there's subtly like, but suggested? But there's, there's like so many Robins. Yeah. You know? it's, like, it's like... Which one is it? Thor 2 was not great, yeah. Thor 2 was just forgettable. Yeah. I don't think it erred in any like significant noticeable way. It was just kind of dull. Dull. It was the type of hero movie we got like dull. in the 20th century. You know, like... Dull. There's more than four Robins. Cameron Dulcimer. Uh, you see Robin's suit in a museum in Batman vs Superman, kind of alluding that uh, Robin has died. Yep. And the Joker maybe killed him. What is one boss fight you fondly remember in 2017? Someone asked that earlier today. Ada. That's a good question. I don't know. Crazy old seven Jones. Oh yeah. That, uh, boy, yeah, that thing in that warehouse, man, that was pissed me off. That was so frustrating. Good, though. Frustrating in a good way. 
How would I feel about Killing Joke live action? Eh. I mean, it could be good, but I did not like the animated Killing Joke. What's my favorite 20th century Batman film? 20th century. 20th century. Yeah, 89, definitely. Yeah. Returns is fun. God, I love Returns. Good style. Good, great style I Returns, but it. it's just too too hokey. Michelle like too... Pfeiffer. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Can we turn the game up a bit? Oh, it's cranked. It's cranked. Oh, actually, no, it's a lie. How dare you, Resident Evil? Gotta go all the way back. Turn the crank. What's my favorite Disney song? When you wish upon a star. Which is pretty standard. Oh, do you not fight the... Ah, uh, that's it. That's A. We need to couch slice this for the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we get a new couch for the studio. This couch is high. It's gotta be a big couch. This is a cozy, cozy couch. Yeah, it is. When your heart is in your dream. Yeah, the fatigue is setting in. Um, setting favorite in. Disney villain. Favorite di dude. Ha like unquestionably, Maleficent. Yeah. Two Un rules. Two rules. Like OG Sleeping Beauty. Hardcore. So hardcore. So good. So good. We did not choose the beach house based on the couch, no. We just lucked out. We lucked out with this room, too. I mean, we didn't, you know, you see pictures, but you don't really know how big rooms are. And this, this is exactly what I want. A nice big room, big area in the back. Something that people could kind of slip in and out, but you don't necessarily see them. The voice in the Haunted Mansion, that's, is that OG Maleficent, Jones? I don't think so. The Haunted Mansion room? The, like, fortune teller? Not Leota, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leota's, uh... Okay. Sounds like kind of similar. Yes, I can't. Her name's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember, but yeah. Not, not so much. Death counters at 277. No death so far in this no run through. No death. Don't jinx me. Well, yes. A lot of hard stuff's coming. Uh, yeah, I think you can count on Brad and myself for the Last Jedi spoiler mode. Oh, dude. Ian will probably be down. Day one. Record a tabletop escapades there. Yeah. Dude, last Jedi spoiler mode needs to be like nine people. Raul Giovanni, will we ever see a us. Disney podcast? Or will Jones ever have enough time to do a monthly Disney podcast? Thought about it. Really? I've actually talked with other people about that. Uh, no, I don't have time. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm not going to do it. I just don't have time. But uh, I'd love it. I, also, the thing about Disney is that like, I'm, I'm very centralized with my not centralized that's the exact opposite i'm very focused with the things i love about disney there's so much in the disney universe that i have no frame of reference on at all so kingdom hearts you're not right uh a lot of animated series like i've seen i've seen some of gravity falls i haven't seen all of it you know there's like a lot of things people really love within disney that like i, I hadn't seen some of the most classic disney animated films until like college yeah. like lady and the tramp like we didn't see it until way late in life and I kind of like the regret dude. Easy Living's kind of like everything else. Any other special event that we do, we, we, we test it out to try to see if uh, it's something we want to do again. So we won't really know until this week where we meet on uh, Tuesday night and kind of do a post-mortem on, you know, was this worth the investment? And, and what is what do our fans think? You know, like, did they think that was worth it? Yeah, a, a, a post Game of Thrones season seven spoiler mode sounds right. Uh, Huber, uh, Maleficent was Madame Leota. I was totally wrong. Boom! Look at that. Knew that voice. 
Haunted Mansion knowledge that it did not have. Boom! You got me on Resident Evil, I got you on Haunted Mansion. We're even there. I have watched the entirety of The Last Airbender twice. I have only seen season one of Korra. I'm in season... I started season two but did not finish. Mr. Showtime likes easy living. Good to hear. Here we go, man. Yeah, we're... We're, we're, we're approaching it. Still a little ways. Still a little ways. Still a bit, still a bit to go. Disney does do 2D animation every now and then. That's What's what Disney XD is for, baby. Oh, yeah. Have I seen all the works by Carl Barks? I'm not familiar with these names. I should be, though. Best shotgun in all of gaming coming up. Who said that? <laughs> Who said it? Uh, Stay Walsh. Slay Walsh, sorry. You know. You know. <laughs> you know it. Not all of gaming, I'll still give it to Doom, Doom, but... Top three, for certain. Thanks, Ada. Choo -choo. Choo -choo. A 2D movie with top class hand drawn animation, yeah? Not anymore. What was the last one? The Princess Frog? Princess and the Frog? Princess and the Frog, yeah. Is that really the last one? It's a long time ago. So. Uh, I've caught a couple episodes of Star Wars The Forces of Evil, but uh, Amanda's actually really into it. She's all caught up. And uh, our friend Adam is Marco on that show. Do you remember a movie video game you were loving and then the ending ruined it for you? Movie video game? Where the ending ruined it? I don't know. Oh, Winnie the Pooh was the last 2D Disney film. Thanks. Most anticipated Disney animated movie. I'm pretty look. See, that's the thing about Disney. I'm pretty lukewarm on everything they're doing right now. I'm excited about it, but I'm not like crazy, you know. Dude, yeah, John, rough. Come on, man. What was a what was a game where the ending ruined it? I don't know. I don't know if I let endings ruin something for me. Whoa, you're a lucky person. Yeah. Ada, ruined dude. Them. Oh yeah, brutal. Nice, nice. Iconic. Oh, that's so cool. What a great moment. Yeah, I'm not excited about Lion King. That's a whole thing. I don't want to get into that right now. But uh, if I seen Over the Garden Wall, no. You know what Jones isn't excited for? Mary Poppins. Yeah, that's it. These are uh, hot button issues. See, that's the thing. It's like I have I have close friends that really love Disney, and it's like they don't want to hear that. <laughs> you know, like yeah. they don't they don't want to be on a podcast with me and hear me just like go on and on about movies I haven't seen yet. <laughs> Treasure Planet is pretty dope. Atlantis is pretty cool too. Very very similar films in, in tone and style. Batman Mask of the Phantasm remaster. What's well, on Blu-ray? I don't know if I call that a remaster. Did they remaster it? That was just Blu-ray. Yeah. I was bummed I didn't go to that panel. That was my my number one most missed panel. It's a. I think it's remastered because it's sixteen by nine now. Maybe. Cool. Yeah, that's a that's a scary film. There's some legit like scary parts of that movie. Hell yeah. Shotgun, you missed the upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going back, don't worry. I've yeah, thought Slay I did. Walsh is losing it right yeah, now. Yeah, thought I did. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I'm not going up there. 
Jones, are you and Hubert ever going to finish an RE1 remake playthrough? Yeah, Jones, we will. Oh, sure, eventually. Yeah. The Halloween's coming up. It's always a good time for that. We can do it short. I thought it was here. Yeah. Isn't it supposed to be right here? There it is. Yes. What is one 2016 game you want to go back to? I don't know. I'd have to see a list. Uncharted. There's so many good games this year I can't think about. Uncharted 4. So about that Dead Space 3 full playthrough. <sighs> I'm like halfway through I think we got. The thing is, it started as like, we only need to play it for an hour. Oh dude, Canine Gaming, uh, Sean Clinton, my trainer, just started, uh, restarted Black Flag again. And he's talking about it, and it's it's making me tempted. Well, they just came out with, on PS Plus, the Adwale DLC, for free. Oh. So if you're looking for just a taste, uh. it is, I recommend it, it's perfect. It's That's the not, Freedom Cry, right? Yeah, 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 it's not too long, free on Plus. We finally arrived. There must be something hidden here. Let's take a look around, Ada. See what we can find. Yeah, New Order playthrough would be good. New Order's not a short game. The Order? I full playthroughed that. Hubert, what's your favorite Resident Evil boss fight? <laughs> oh, e easy. Uh, the first Wesker encounter in Resident Evil 5. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Then he then he throws Jill at you. Oh. Co op and he's like zipping and dodging. It's it's so cool. We'll definitely pre make Defaulte before. It's the gonna be the the, the the son or daughter of Defaulte. The spawn the of Defaulte. The spawn of Defaulte. Can't promise that gender will be easy to discern from the character we create. <laughs> Still trying to think of something that the ending just destroyed it for me. I mean, I just recently went went back and revisited the Matrix trilogy, and like, boy, well, that did not end well. But that was the trilogy, whereas like the first Matrix is pretty solid. That's funny, Ebo Show, yeah. I probably just did that on, on uh, after hearing it pronounced around the office and then forgot how to pronounce it later. Is Easy Living the longest you guys have spent together in a single place? Yes. And Easy Allies or Game Trailers. That was also kind of the, the point, to give that a shot. I never saw Meet the Robinsons. Neither have I. It looked like a film with not many jokes in it, so... We have, uh... 40 magnum rounds. Just so everyone knows. Saving it. Yeah. Welcome back, Mr. Anderson. Yeah, Animatrix is good too. I didn't wa I haven't watched it recently though. I should. Oh, Animatrix, I love it. MC likes to meet the Robinsons. Oh. What's the best trilogy of movies? Star Wars, probably. It's pretty hard to argue. Because Godfather Part 3 is not good. It, it's good, it's not... Temple of Doom is okay. Not as good as Raiders or Crusade. But, uh... Dude, maybe Godfather... Episode 4, 5, and 6? Maybe, good. Dude, good. Godfather's good. a really good choice, but... I could see Star Wars as well. Lord of the Rings is good. But there, there are some moments in that Lord of the Rings trilogy that are bad. That are really bad. Name one. Name one, Name the entirety one. of Gimli in Two Towers. Everything he says in the whole film. When he falls off the horse and he's like, it was deliberate, it was deliberate. You're like, shut up, Gimli. Shut up. He's like C-3PO. It's like, be quiet. Oh. You're gonna have to toss me. It's like, why are we doing humor right now? Why are we pausing this fight to tell jokes? Are you insane? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I tell you. Yeah, it's very Marvel. The movie just screeches to a halt, and like none of the Star Wars films do that ever. There's no, there's no. Yeah. RP walk. 
Bobo Leader is awaiting my my uh, my show about traffic and how to drive. Yeah, it's uh, it's coming. Might have to make a new channel for that one. I don't know if that fits on Easy Allies. Star Wars has Ewoks, but there's no like dumb joke with the Ewoks. You know what I mean? Like, like you might you might not, might not like Ewoks conceptually. We can talk about that. But uh, yeah, intimidating much. But there's no like Ewok moment that's like, ooh, that one dialogue line, oof. Not like Jar Jar level, not like Legolas sliding off an elephant being like, yeah, you know, none of that. <laughs> His Dark Materials book trilogy, yeah, MC, yeah. Golden Compass movie pissed me off. I actually, MC, started Golden Compass, was frustrated by it, and stopped reading it, and Amanda, like, slapped me. and was like, finish that book. And then finished Golden Compass and immediately went into Subtle Knife. And I can't remember what the third one's called. But yeah, that is a Dynamo series. Dynamo. Great young adult fiction, because it's like, deals with some really adult themes. Dynamo. I love that word, Jones. Amber Spyglass, nice. I mean, didn't actually slap it, but... Oh yeah, Wiffy Zapper, there's some uh, religious undertones for sure. Bacon Krispies, I always kill Mr. X. Good drops. I mean, good drops worth the cost, you know, to get those drops. I don't need anything. I'd rather just take one little punch. I definitely stand by Game of Thrones being the best adaptation of anything ever. And save so many resources. The best uh, uh, novel adaptation as far as breadth is concerned, you know. Not like any one moment. It's like there's no, there's no scene in any of the Game of Thrones films that will hold up to Godfather 1 or 2, but like the scope of the entire project is just, it's unmatched. Best Stanley Kubrick film. Best or my favorite? Yeah, definitely two different answers. Shining my favorite. Probably Apocalypse Now. That's Coppola. Sorry, duh. Um, you were so quick with that. Favorite. What is it? Oh, Full Metal Jacket. Sorry, that's what I meant. Full Metal Jacket. Full Metal, yeah. I, think, I, dude, I just I think watched Sh both of those in the last, like, month, so... I think Shining might be his best, too. Oh, it's Shining so effing good, it hurts. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little a little edgy with Shining because I love that book so much, mm. and it, it does some weird so things to that book. Yeah. So, For sure. I was I was spoiled by that book when I, before I saw that movie, so... Here we go. Jurassic Park is a very good book adaptation. But, you know, two hours and you're done. Two hours. In and out. Whereas Game of Thrones, like two hours, like you're just getting started, baby. Ada. 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 Uh, the whole thing. Come on, All of Game of Thrones. Of I did watch the Room 437 documentary. It's very interesting. Here we go. Showtime. Yeah, Nicholson really poured himself into The Shining. <laughs> That must have been very uncomfortable to hang out with him on set. With Kubrick being as, like, as crazy. Did you ever see that, you ever see that footage of him yelling at Shelley Duvall? Because she, yes. like, didn't walk out, like, yep. on cue. It's so good. Vegan. Probably gonna die, man. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oof. Oof. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. Oh, God, yes. We did it. 
Only use one health. Nice. Love that. The leap up. So we got plenty of magnum rounds. Boss killer. It's fun to go back and read reviews or get people's take at the time of seeing 2001. Totally. Because you look at 2001 and like, I, I think we're kind of like prepared for that type of film now after like seeing all the crazy things, especially in like this day and age with like television being like better than it's ever been. And, yeah. And uh, people are just really taking like a long time to tell really deep stories. But at the time, I've, I've, read, I've read articles where literally they're like, they're like, I walked out of that theater a different person, straight up. Yeah. They're like, I would, my, my yeah. whole outlook on everything was completely changed. Yeah. Especially Reside anyone who like had any kind of film making aspirations. Yeah. Was just like, hold just the phone, wait yeah. a minute, what? You can do what? Yeah. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go save yourself. Save yourself, Leon. Is it just me or does everybody always ignore what I say? I told you, it's my job to look after you. Is the thing the best thriller horror film ever made? Danger if you stay with uh, I say Jaws is better than the thing. The oh, thing is good though. Period of time. Especially for all the practical Magic effects, they still hold up as well as they do. Yeah. I. Jaws hype. But Jaws, Jaws is the best monster movie ever made. I'm not capable of caring Y'all about anyone. Y'all know me. Y'all know I make a living. Yeah. <laughs> so good. We're leaving this place He's together. He's so good. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Best oh, video sure. game trilogy. Mm. Not many. Not a lot of video game trilogies. Not a lot of people stop at three. How about Not the fly? A lot of people start at three. Fly's okay. Fly's a ten. Ten out of ten. Really cold blue? Fly. Ten out of ten. Cronenberg, dude. Ten. <laughs> One of my faves. Do I still say names incorrectly for Game of Thrones? I don't know. Is it Brian? Is it Brian? Who knows? <laughs> Brian. Alright, we're in B territory. Do you think Return of the Jedi should have stuck with the original script? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind losing Lando and the Falcon at the end of that one. Super Colors just subbed. Nice. Thank you, Super Colors. See you later, Ada. Oh, Warcraft 1 through 3. There you go. There's a pretty solid gaming trilogy. Well done. Yeah, boy. Tough to beat that. That chat's the best. The but, I mean, best. You, I think you could... Well, actually, no. I, I will stand by this. The GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas are a trilogy. Because they don't... 4 is not in that universe. They hint at it. Correct. And uh, 1 and 2 in London are not a part of 3. Like, they, they rebooted everything with 3. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't talking about critics. I was talking about the movie 2001. Not, not, not a film that came out in 2001. People that saw the film in the 70s. 60s? 70s? 69. 69, wow. I, I'm a Kubrick fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to be. There's, the guy didn't make a lot of movies. He's my, my, my all time. You can get caught up on the man's entire career in like a weekend. Yeah. Uh, Barry Lyndon is also like one of my favorite Kubrick movies. How do you feel when people say that person lives because plot armor? What? In Game of Thrones? I understand what plot armor means. Plot armor means you're like like you're protected because oh. you're a main character. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, there, uh, that that is one of the negative things about Game of Thrones. Is like at this point, it's fairly predictable. <laughs> like like the beginning of season seven's been satisfying, seeing these things finally happen after we've been waiting for so long. But like we we knew these things were gonna happen, so. Um. Halo one through three, pretty solid. No, but I, I can't count it because, like, you know... The, the 3D universe, they are called, in GTA. Nice. I can't call, like, Uncharted a trilogy because, like... Nope. nope. They keep... It is not. I gotta research. Research break, Jones! All right. AMA chat, let's do this. <sighs> Godfather 2 and Episode 5 got destroyed by critics. What were they thinking? Was Star Wars Episode 5 got destroyed by critics? I didn't know that. Um, I think Godfather 1 is better than Godfather 2. But uh, I understand that's a very unpopular opinion. Uh, I think Godfather 2 is better from like a film school perspective. Like if you add up all the things that happen in Godfather 2 and like how the scenes relate to each other. But uh, uh, I didn't see either Godfather film until uh, college. 
and uh, the, how floored I was. I, my jaw hit the floor at the end of Godfather. Like when, they, when credits rolled at the end of Godfather, I was like, that's one of the best movies I've ever seen. And when Godfather 2 is over, I was like, that was a good movie. That was really, really good. But like, I was, sh I was shook when I saw Godfather 1. Do I love Rich Evans? I don't remember. Ugh, I don't know Rich Evans by name. Doesn't ring a bell. Ever read Mistborn? No, but my Amanda really wants me to. What about Goodfellas or Casino? Goodfellas is fantastic, better than Casino. Casino's still good. Um, best Sharon Stone movie ever, hands down. What's my progress with the Lego castle? Started the second floor, which is the archery room. I'm happy about it. Red Letter Media. Oh, is that him? Yeah, Red Letter Media is amazing. Best in the biz. Better reviewer than I am, no question. The Departed uh, didn't blow me away. I thought Departed was okay. What? It's okay. It's a good. What? It's, it's good. It's good. Dude, Jones. Good. Per good performances. <sighs> Interesting story. Jones. But I wasn't like. Whoa. Oh, Departed is like. Departed is in like, my top ten movies of all time. All right. All right. All right. I love it so much. It's my favorite Leo performance ever. Maybe my favorite Matt Damon performance ever. Like. No. It's it's tough when you say a movie's great and people are like, huh? I know, I know, I know. I know. Every time. I'm not single. No, no, totally, totally. It's, totally. it's always hilarious. Like, You're like, it's a nine. Yeah. People are like, yeah. what? What? Like, it's so funny. It is. It so is. It so is. Ugh. <laughs> it's like, oh, I love that, but I like this one a little more. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. Friendship you, over. You love it? Best Schwarzenegger movie? Terminator 2, Judgment no, Predator, Day. Predator, dude, get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Predator yeah. more than yeah. T2? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially for, 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 for Schwarzenegger 2. For classic, just, just, just meat off the bone Schwarzenegger. I'm, you know, I'm stick around, come on. Agree to Because it's got everything. Because it's got everything. Because the 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 T2 I think has has less of like the classic commando. I'll be back. Like mo like like those like one liner Schwarzenegger moments. Yeah. And is more dramatic, admittedly, than uh, uh, admittedly than that. Predator. But Predator's got both. You For have sure. you have that raw. You know, like like like. One of the best acting performances I've seen from Schwarzenegger. Totally. But, but the beginning also. is just classic cheesy. But that's what's so good about it because you set up the beginning of Predator. Where it's like these guys are unstoppable. It's a cl it's a cla they're all commandos. They're gonna breeze through this. And yeah. I'm like, nope. They are not prepared. True lies. Okay. <laughs> Kindergarten cop. Okay. God. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Jingle all the way. <laughs> See, I got you pushing too many pencils. This is fucking pie business. God, I love Arnold. <laughs> love him so much. Yeah, you know me and T2. We don't even get into that. <laughs> Where the hell am I pushing this? Thing? Under the cart, dude. No, I brought it down, though. Um, maybe back, but yeah, I'm walking yeah, back. Let's see what's going on. Last action hero, no. There it is. Okay. Put the cookie down! <laughs> Oh yeah, Conan's great, of course. But uh Yeah. True Lies is, is fun. A little racist, but it's fun. <laughs> True Lies! God! Did you ever play Soma Heber? Still on my cue, dude. Hurts me. So great old. story. Story's the best part. And an ending that just rips your guts out. Now these, these like crazy super liquors, they weren't in uh No. Oh no, the liquors are in two. Yeah, liquors are exclusive two. to this. Yeah. But I love that. The like Wolverine liquors and big Two claws. and then dormant until five. T2 had really good CGI for its time and also very, very bad special effects. <laughs> There's some embarrassing special effects in Terminator 2. Do not hold up. Like we we're talking about the thing. The thing holds up. Like a lot of that practical stuff, that stop motion, even when it doesn't look real, it's yeah. still disturbing. It's yeah. still like not easy to look like at. Like the fly will always hold up. Yeah. Whereas uh, there's even just some scenes in T2 where they're in a car talking and it's just like, it's like a Seinfeld episode with the blue screen in the background going by. It's like... 
Uh, Giovanni thought you liked T1 more than T2. Me? Oh, yeah, T2. T1's great because it's a horror film, though. Again, They're so different. So T1's different. horror, T2's action. Terminator 1... Alien 1 horror, Alien 2 action. Terminator 1 is so violent. Like, not uh, the most action, you know, but just a very violent film. <laughs> like, when he home invades the, the wrong Sarah Connor... Yeah. Just kicks open the door and boom, boom, boom. Disturbing, yeah. that's, dude. That's a pretty primal fear right there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Universal Soldier. Excellent. Love Universal Soldier. Da I, I, I'm, I'm due for a rewatch, I think, of Universal Soldier. Jean-Claude. Oh, you want to start talking about Jean-Claude movies. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. many good mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we talked about the DC shows earlier. We're not, uh, we're not caught up. Yeah. Can't do it. It's like, it's honestly the one piece of TV shows. Quote me on that, chat. Yeah, to do, I mean, you know, you know I'm an alien. So the saying. DC TV shows are the one piece. I mean, Time Cop. Let me talk about Time Cop for, for a second. One of the greats, Jones. Hard one Target, also good. Bloodsport, clearly the best. One of the, all of them. JCVD. Street Fighter, the best. <laughs> Love Jean-Claude. See, Richard G. Flowers, he says he likes Alien more than Aliens. I'm totally fine with that. Totally fine with Totally that. fine. Totally fine. Because they're just way different movies. Yeah. Favorite Tarantino movie? Reservoir Dogs. Pulp Fiction. Without a shadow <laughs> of a doubt. Yeah, Ron Silver is a bad guy in Time Cop, so good. Pulp Fiction. You need a Hall of Greats for movies. Oof. Pulp Fiction Jones, not overrated, not overplayed. One of the greatest. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hold up. Of all time. I just think, I think the reason I like Reservoir Dogs so much is he made Pulp Fiction when he's like in his prime, had all these actors that were stoked to work with them, had a really great script, yeah, and and could, and I think had a little more money, higher budget, so he could just go around all these crazy locations. Like they built that restaurant, you yeah. know. For, I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, "Where the hell is this place in Los Angeles? I gotta go to this restaurant." It's Love like, it. No, they they built that. Like that restaurant does not exist. Um, Jack Rabbit Slims, but Reservoir Dogs should have been a bad movie. Like, like, three or four locations, super low budge. Yeah. You know, eight dudes all wearing the same outfit. You know, totally. it, like, just a lot of bad... It's like... It's like... Like, like Easy Allies could film it. Like, we could yeah, attempt yeah, we could to go do make it, Reservoir Dogs you know? right now. Yeah. Like, you... Yeah. I, I don't think they allow you... In the 90s, I don't think they let you graduate from film school unless you made a heist movie. Like, mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just what you did, you know? Uh, and it... It, it holds up on the strength of that screenplay that he wrote those characters so well and he cast the perfect people to play them. Nice. They don't need those arms either. Goaty, the shotgun. Oh, Look at man, the kickback. I... The kickback when he shoots it. Watch that guy, watch that guy. Oh, oh, got me on the reload. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking too much about the Easy Allies Reservoir Dogs. Because how many are there? there there's, there's, there's less than nine. There's like six of them, right? Yeah, something like that. But I guess there's like the boss. Oh, Damiani should be uh, Mr. Blonde. No, no, Damiani's the 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 the, the, the guy that sends everybody on the job. Oh, yeah. you're Mr. Pink. Yes, Kyle's Mr. Pink, straight up. Oh yeah, Kyle's Buscemi for sure. Yeah, 100. Uh, Don is uh, is Don or Brad Michael Madsen? Brad, dude. I'm Harvey Keitel. For sure, Brad is. Y Mr. You're you're uh, you're uh, um, Tim Roth. You're Tim Roth. Yes, please. Yeah, I'd take a bullet. I'm, I'm taking a bullet. Don right is uh, Mr. Brown? I think so. Brown, yeah, Brown like has no dialogue in the yeah. film, doesn't he? Right. <laughs> uh. Oh, the end of this game. Here we go. I know, the shotgun. Too satisfying. Yeah, Brad is Madsen, yeah. No doubt. Without a doubt. Oh, Tarantino was brown. Who's the old guy? How alien is that? Flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. Who's the older guy that has, like, no lines of dialogue and, like, get, gets killed at the... I forget his name. Yeah. I forget. 
The nine. Brad's blonde then, yeah. Yeah, ja- I, I really didn't like Jackie Brown the first time I saw it, and I just rewatched it. It's good. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I just think I'm Kaitel because it's just the it's just the age, age and experience, you know. Yeah. Give me those shells. It's you and me at the end. Hell yeah. Me cradling a dying Huber. <laughs> How fitting being. I a, swear to God. I'm playing this right now. Who's the guy who tortured the cop? That's Brad. Yeah, that's Mr. Uh, Blonde. Mr. Blonde. Yeah. Mr. Blonde is my son. Oh, can't you see Ellis just like? Yeah. Go be here tonight. Oh, that's so good. No Inglorious Love? I do not like Inglorious Bastards. In ten. Ten out of ten. Not a fan. It's entertaining. It's great. Not one of my faves, though. I think it's too jumbled. I, mean, I think. And he and 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 that's what's great about Tarantino is he, he jumbles in a really fun way, but it's it's too disjointed. Mm. It's a lot of really great moments, but it just doesn't. Mm. Mm-hmm. Tarantino's a master that only makes masterpieces. I just pissed off chat. I think I'm done. I like every Kill Bill is Kill Bill. Oh, I like Kill every Bill. single one of Quentin Tarantino's movies. They're all tens. He is a master. I still haven't seen Hateful Eight. Dude. Apologies to everybody. Yeah, people, I need, I gotta... dude, people hate on Hateful Eight. I think it's a ten, straight up. Maybe because I watched it with my dad like five times, but I think every movie he makes is a masterpiece. Tarantino, dude. People, people are like overly hard on him. I feel like with some of his later movies. I like if you put on a Glorious Bastards right now, I would watch it and enjoy it. Hell yeah. But it's because of the moment. It's because of Christoph Waltz's performance is, is masterful. Yeah. Well, probably one of the best performances in any Tarantino film. Agreed. Um, but it's just the whole, the whole package. Like people hate on Django. But so. to me, Django's like the vibe of Django. Like I get, it. you know, like right away, I like it sets the tone. I'm like, oh, okay, that's this movie. Candy Lane. Whereas the tone to me of Inglorious Bastards is like. I mean, I've talked about this a lot on Easy Ally stuff in GT, where it's like, when you bounce back and forth between like, comedy serious, comedy serious, comedy serious, like, I just get exhausted. I'm like, okay. And there's just so much of Inglorious Bastards. Like, his style, yeah. I think, fits Kill Bill. I think fits Reservoir Dogs. I think fits Pulp Fiction. When you get in like World War II, it's like, like a Tarantino World War II oh, is just, that. It's a, it's, it's a little imbalanced. Shooting me. Hitler in the face when he's on the ground yeah. burning in flames is Epic. like... <laughs> it's like the moment. It's the moment we all need, Jones. <laughs> yeah, Jango's extremely racist, there's no question. Alright, where are we headed here? Going left. Tone shifts are tough. I don't think it's a matter of like getting tone shifts if if you don't feel it, you know. Like people like the bear Jew. Why does the bear Jew get his own vignette and no one else does? Where's the Brad Pitt vignette? Cause he's the bear Jew, dude. Like like when they're when they're like, <laughs> here's the story behind the bear Jew. I was like, oh here we go. Or we're gonna learn about all of the people on the crew. And like, no, just just the bear Jew. Yeah. It's like what I want to learn more about Brad Pitt. They're like, no, Brad Pitt's dumb. That's his character angle. He's not very smart. I'm like, okay. Interesting take. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. Poison. Yeah, what a bust. Oh, Hubert. Uh-oh. Yeah. Careful, careful. It's upsetting. I'm upset right now. This oh, is Hubert, not careful, good. Careful, yeah. Careful. yeah, 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 yeah. No. Oh, I thought oh. you said first state spray cures poison. I thought so. I thought. Yeah, that was wrong. a little factoid I didn't know. Yeah. What is this right here? Turns out you were shooting from the hip. Shooting blanks. Yeah, this is this this plate just turned into a podcast, a oh, movie no. podcast from a. Get out Cooper of my Jones. face! Yeah, you don't need to come back in here, do you? I don't think so. God. Oof. Brutal room. Brutal room. Yeah, 
Yeah, Thorax is, uh, you know, the racism in Django doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but like it, 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 it plays with racism to tell its story, so. Do I ever watch Titan AE? Yeah, it's a rough movie. That's some rough sci-fi. Look out, Fairy Tale. I'm looking for a fun anime, okay. I didn't hate the Evil Dead remake. Oh my god, I love it. I thought it was okay. I love yeah. it. I like it a lot. See, Chumbly Kids hates Pulp Fiction. See, here we are. We're, we're all here, everybody. All That's here. the point of this whole thing. We're all here. The point of Easy Allies, for all of us to get together, sort it all out. Sort it out. Find out wh why we like the things we do. Yep. And why we don't. Understand my, people's opinions and, and, and you know, their differences. My dad wanted to show me Pulp Fiction, but I was so young. My mom was, like, kind of against it, but he really wanted to show me it. So I remember watching the VHS with him over the course of, like, three nights. We just watched it. Just, we're just two white guys trying to figure it out. <laughs> We have so many magnum rounds. Yeah, your dad, Huber. I want I want your dad to be my dad. <laughs> He's so, oh, <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think they were smart with Evil Dead Remake, and they made it more brutal than the first film. Yeah. And I think that was a smart play as far as making a different movie. Being like, where, where do we go from here? And it's like, let's not try to make it funnier. Yeah. Let's not try to create a character more iconic than Ash. Totally. Let's... Do something different. Thoughts you, on Battlefield Earth? What are you, what are you doing to me? Yeah, what is happening? Titan AE, now no, Battlefield Earth? We no, don't need to go yeah, there. No. My favorite. You know where I want to go right now? It's relevant. Predators. Oh, I still need to see it. Predators, chat. I love the movie. It's not, a, it's not a 10 out of 10. It's not a masterpiece. It's not better than Predator. You know? It might not even be better than Predator 2. But I think the movie has value. And I think right. if you haven't seen it, sure. it is absolutely worth a watch. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stumble across it on some VOD one day. And Look at that. Look like, at that oh. hate. Look at that hate. There's some, dude, that movie's good. MC, that's fine. Predators is that's good. That's fair. Even critically, Predators did all right. Which allies the most into documentaries? I'm pretty damn into documentaries. Yeah, I'd say you and Ian. Yeah. There was a time in my life when I went to the theater to see them. Wow, yeah. I, like, I don't know if I've ever done that. College. I think maybe that... Not the not not Roger and me, but the second uh, Michael Moore. I might have just Bowling. seen it with friends at the time. Both Columbine. I think I saw yeah. Columbine theaters. Yeah. Uh, Dude, Predators but, uh, is a good I love movie. that Kyle hates my affection for rockumentaries. Can we? I'm so unapologetic about that. Rockumentaries rule. Can we just settle it with chat? About predators. <laughs> Sigheart, I can't tell if you're serious or not. Oh, I, I totally enjoy bad movies. My favorite bad movie? What's your favorite bad movie, Huber? Your guiltiest film pleasure. You're like, this is garbage. Okay. I know it is. I know it is. Recently, Jupiter Ascending. <laughs> movie is trash, but I loved it. My favorite bad film? Biodome. Biodome. I love Biodome <laughs> so much. <laughs> I could quote that whole movie, Biodome. Man. Free the ma'i ma'i. Free ma'i ma'i. I love Biodome so much, I put up with way too many Pauly Shore movies after that. And I was just like, just waiting for, for lightning to strike again. It never happened. <laughs> Tremors is not a bad movie, Mr. Showtime. Tremors. Tremors is not a bad movie. It's not bad. <laughs> Biodome. Yo, Predators for real. Who's better at visuals, Nolan or Ridley Scott? Visuals. I, dude, that's more of a DP thing. And Nolan's DP, Wally Fisher, is a 10 out of 10. I think Ridley Scott kind of mixes it around. Oh, The Room, of course. But The Room is, I mean, I have fond memories of The Room, but I could watch Biodome right now. I, I don't, if you put on The Room, I, I, I'd probably do something else. <laughs> I don't know if I could, like, sit through The Room again. Like... I don't know how people do it, like, the 40th time they've seen the room. It's yeah. Like, unless you're, like, with a lot of people. Whew. I don't know I gotta put it on fire. Put it on fire. Ooh. 
Face Off. Yeah. I rewatched Face Off a couple years ago and was devastated to learn that it has not aged well. It was rough, Jones. You know what scene I liked though? I can't remember. I always forget this woman's this actress's name, but uh, uh, Travolta's wife in that movie. Uh, the scene where he approaches her in the hospital, mm -hmm. I thought was written really well, and yeah. I thought she actually did a really good job in that movie. Joan Allen. Joan Allen, dude, the killing. Season four. Love Joan Allen. That boat chase at the end of Face Off. It's like, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. John Woo, let's go. Let's go, John Woo. John Woo made the only bad Mission Impossible. The, the, you know, the worst Mission Impossible, but... Yeah. Excited for the disaster artist? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feels so oh, good. Feels so good. Favorite Bond flick, Goldeneye. Goldeneye. Favorite though. Goldeneye. Yeah, but I would say best, but yeah, you know, favorite for sure. And Goldfinger. Growing up, though, Moonraker, hands down. Nice. Moonraker was gospel, man. Moonraker, <laughs> Moonraker yeah! <laughs> Golden Casino Eye Royale was also really good. And Casino Royale. Those are like my top three, for sure. Because Goldeneye and, Cas and Casino Royale, same director. Did you know that? Didn't know that. Yeah, Martin Campbell. Have I seen John Woo's A Better Tomorrow trilogy? No. Dude. Spud, that's actually Wait, interesting. Uh, a Better Tomorrow. I can't believe we're going we're going places tonight, Chad. Was it De was it Denholm <laughs> Elliott? Was that the guy's name or is that Brody? I think, well. that's, I think that's Brody from Indie Falls. The guy who played Q, I can't remember the actor's name. But before he passed away, they asked him who he thought Ian Fleming's favorite Bond would be. Mm. And he said the Dalton. Dalton. Dude, said, no, License he... to Kill, man. Yeah. Renegade Dalton. Which is the one that Benicio Del Toro's in? Oh, God. I think I it might be License to Kill. Dude, License to Kill. So sick. What Bond villain would each ally be? Uh, was it David Bowie? Isn't he one of the villain in one of them? Like Moonraker? Is he in Moonraker? No, no, he's no, not that guy. Uh, Damiani would be Jaws, obviously. <laughs> Kyle would be Blofeld. Dude, license to kill, man. Ian would be uh, the Casino Royale bad guy with the... Le he'd be mad. Le Chief. Le Chief, yes. Why haven't they remade They Live? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. Thoughts on Wes Anderson films? Hit or miss. That is a director that I'm either just right in sync with or nope. Me too. Uh... I'm trying to think of my favorite Wes Anderson. Really like Moonrise Kingdom. Love when the kickback moves you to another camera. <laughs> it pleases me, Jones. It gets me excited. And camera sad. kickback. It gets me so excited. Grand Budapest Hotel. I don't know, 10 out of 10. Budapest Hotel was fun. It was amusing. Whereas, like, Moonrise actually, like, I always got emotional watching that. Whereas, like, Budapest was very, uh, very hokey. Hokey. But so growing Jones, up, a, growing up a scout, Moonrise spoke to me a lot. So Jones, Jones, are you not big on hokey, hokey movies? I'm okay with hokey as, as if the movies, if it all fits. You know what I mean? Like if the, if if from like the first five minutes, I'm like, got it, hokey movie, got it. Yeah. And then everything sticks to that. G G Latum, just sub. Thank you. I couldn't tell if that was a resub or a rig sub. Either way. By the way, we need to go to our flamethrower Ripley style. Yo, what time is it? How are we doing on time? Royal Tenenbaums might be my fave. Thoughts on Speed Racer? Love it. Perfectly fine film. Love it. 
Wachowskis, dude. Jupiter Ascending. Susan Sarandon Speed Racer. didn't know what didn't know what movie she was in. She no one told her, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't think Susan Sarandon really had the full perspective yep. on that. But uh We have so many Magnum runs. I don't know if JoJo is slapstick. Let's just But see that I think JoJo's very true to its tone. Let's just combine it. We have too many rounds. Check it. Look at this. Ten inch barrel. Yeah, intense. You like hard boiled, right? Obviously. Oh my hard boiled. God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Better tomorrow. Thoughts on cinema versus Netflix. Hubert, as 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 I get older, as each year of my life Don't goes by, Don't. I get I get less and less excited about actually going to a movie theater. Oh my god, no, Jones. Come and it's on. it's just because Jones. It's just because of the, the human beings, man. Please just go to the movie I, I theater. Lo I, I lose faith in the species. I know. It's bad. That's why I see movies now two weeks after they're out. Sure, yeah. I wait, I wait. I waited on Dunkirk and it paid off because I saw it in an IMAX with like 14 other people. The out Sting. Of 500. The Sting is excellent. Another Robert Shaw movie. Oof. Like. Please, dude, go see Dunkirk in an Happy IMAX. birthday, Articic. It'll rejuvenate your love for film. Grab that button. Give me a poison again. Nice. You have to find a cinema where only people go who want to see movies. Yeah, I don't know where that, I don't know where that is. Arclay. Even still, man, I've, I've yeah, had I some know. bad audiences there. Me too. Thoughts on The Rock? Not the first time a Gabbers brought it up. <laughs> uh, I think the best thing about The Rock is the soundtrack. The X Poison Gas. The Rock is one of the best action soundtracks ever. Don't I could take the rock soundtrack and make any film. <laughs> it, you name the genre, I'm all over it. Well, I mean, obviously not like romantic comedy, but like any any action genre, any action script. I think that is just the perfect catch-all, yeah, badass action film soundtrack. And one of one of the best uh, Sean Connerys ever too. Mason. Losers always complain about their best. He's so good in it. Winners go home and fuck the punk. He's too good. Yeah, let's just save it up. Yeah, Zephyr, we've been talking about that a lot. Stuff that doesn't hold up. It's going to watch while. later. Terminator 2. Oh my god. <laughs> no, the, movie's, the movie's excellent. There's too many good. There's too many good scenes in that film for it to be not a good movie, but. A rom-com with the soundtrack would be good, yeah. <laughs> Dun, dun. Guys driving to his girlfriend's house. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Eraser, oh jeez. Do we need that? Sometimes you gotta watch a movie while you're playing a game. You gotta find those games. We don't need this anymore. Let's just get that. Feels good when you just take 40% of a submachine just, gun. Yeah, clunk. I have not seen The Wrestler. You brought that up the other day. We were talking about that. One of the greats. Did you know that at, uh, that after watching The Rock, Kojima decided to hire Williams for MGS2? So rad. Yeah, I think that was like the first, one of the first, because I, I remember when we did the MGS retro and I wanted to I wanted to write in how many, what films Williams had made before MGS2. Not a lot. He had not made a lot of action movies. So it was pretty dope that he came in there and was like, yeah, I'll write a theme for this Metal Gear. And it turned out so well. The Tintin movie was fun. This is not, not my favorite Peter Jackson, but yeah, right. it was it's fun. The disc here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of people hated Tintin. Good, bad, and the ugly. Um, I love it, but for a few dollars more is actually my favorite of the trilogy. Yeah, Harry Gregson Williams, not John Williams. Oh, you loved War for the Planet of the Apes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. No, it's gonna be stuck in my head. All night, Jones. Dun, Thanks, son. Dun 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 dun
Broken arrow. Let's give these guys a haircut. Have you seen my name is Trinity? No. Lee Van Cleef, dude, yes. For a few dollars more is... It's too good. I just like that story more of like two bounty hunters teaming up. Shit's sick. I did not like Hugo. I thought Hugo was pretty average. And I don't really love those type of movies. I thought Hugo was like a poor man's Aunt Amelie. Did you see it in 3D? No. At the time when it came out in 3D, it was insane. Yeah. You said no with disgust, Jones. I said no because I, I, I don't think 3D would save that film for me. Like, it was it was not the effects that I thought Creator's were Creator's Intent, dude. That movie 3D, I swear. It's big. Favorite Travolta film? Pulp Fiction. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. That or, uh, look who's talking. All these freakos. This is kind of a bonus room. Bond or Born? Bond all day, come on. This is a bonus room, by the way. You have to go through a lot of hoops to get in oh, here. Oh, Grease. Yeah, Grease. Dude. Oh, you need to reload the yeah. machine gun? Oh, dude, you're set, man. Yeah, too much. Too much ammo. This is a, this is a really big bonus room. I think <laughs> dude, it's pretty cool. Face-off is legit and Swordfish. I love this chat. I, did, I watched Swordfish like a year ago. Our chat's going there, dude. We're going there tonight. It is not Battlefield Earth, no. My buddy pointed out a funny thing about Battlefield Earth. The entire film is like this. Like every shot's just like or like very few shots in Battlefield Earth are like even. Okay, I know where I'm going. We're hearing that Sally's good. I really like Connery or James Earl Jones, best voice in the biz. James Earl Jones good. Morgan Freeman though. Yeah, Morgan Freeman probably. More prolific than Jones. Next level. But the the emotions I felt when when James Earl Jones started talking in Rogue One, palpable, yeah. dude. Palpable. Yes, yes. I, th I think I grabbed Amanda. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was it was intense. It was intense. Because after decades of hearing so many actors like do him and just getting used to that like yeah kind of faux Vader, you know, totally. more as a character and less as an actor, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's the stuff. Oh yeah. Oh. Like a fine wine. Worst scene and favorite movie. I don't know. Starship Troopers, excellent. Love Starship Troopers, dude. See, that's a about... movie that understands itself. Yes. I was talking about Roughnecks, Jones. Have you ever seen it? The anime? No. <laughs> uh, when I was in middle school, it would like air in the mornings. Starship Troopers, like Saturday morning cartoon with like crazy 3D visuals. Oh, James Earl Jones reprises Vader and Rebels. I didn't know that. I might have known that and forgotten it. Annette, dude, you, why are you tripping? You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G virus, didn't you? Never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now. Where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really she should, her arm should be bloody or something. She should show some so battle damage from taking that fall. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agents. Later on, I think. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. Natoid, get some sleep. Come back tomorrow. Well, this will still be here. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. You don't know her, Leon. Come on, you met her like three hours ago, dude. Kindred spirits. Love at first sight. Yeah, yeah, it's happening. Exit stage right. It's yeah, it's happening. All right, I think it's time. Oh. Oh. Gah. Gut punch. Oh, Huber, why take the risk? Oh, there you go.
Best Van Damme movie, Bloodsport. We're gonna talk about that earlier. Stand our ground. Night, Natoid. Thanks for watching. Stood our ground, dude. Felt good. Favorite TV show of all time? Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> Whoa! Yep, my number one. Uh, probably Breaking Bad for me. Yeah, I mean, Breaking Bad's like the best. Because any other show I think of has its lows, and there's just no lows for Breaking yeah. Bad. There was no point in that show where I was like, yeah, I could have done without that episode. Sure. Whereas like, uh, to be honest, the first thing that popped in my head, Next Generation. Yeah. Oh, uh, anime, uh, Batman the Animated Series. One, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't count that. It's like in a separate category. It's like its own thing. Best live action series. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Uh, how do I feel about Better Call Saul? It was good. I watched season one and do your job. I've just, you know, Get back a lot of shows. <laughs> yeah. yeah, too many. Some would say too Orphan many. Black is really fantastic. If, if people have not checked that out, that is a, a tour de force. I'm so frustrated that Tatiana Maslany has not been nominated for an Emmy. Just uh, pretty crazy. So sick. God. So many people falling off the railings. T tier. Dude, the Ada point blank shots. Leon, please escape. Black Mirror, excellent. Haven't seen all of it. I can't just leave you behind. It's all of season three and most of one. I'm I didn't see season two at all. Just a woman. I'm in love with you. Nothing more. I forgot about that. Yeah. They share a moment. I believe in love at Ada. first sight. No. Ada! The electricity. I think Justice League and Justice League Unlimited are dead the even. Ada, dude, yeah, being shady. That was a super important terminal. I will always remember you. I will always remember you. Goodbye. Should I check her pulse? <laughs> eh. Should. <laughs> Tombstone, oh my god. There's a, uh, a tombstone mural on Venice Boulevard. You might. Oh, I love it. I pass it every time on the way yeah. to, to uh, your place. Uh, but um, uh, they quote the film incorrectly. It drives me crazy. They do? Yeah. What does it say on there? It says, I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah. It's, I'll be your Huckleberry. I believe. No, I think it's, I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I'm your Huckleberry. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's correct, John. Oh. Leon, Somebody said, I'll be your Huckleberry in chat, though. Oh, shit. Yeah. Claire? I think we might need a ruling. Yeah. Let's see what IMDb has to say about it. I'll be your Huckleberry, it is. I'm your Huckleberry. Never mind that right now. Do I think the Vader hallway scene in Rogue One is one of the best in the franchise? I don't love that scene. I think it, I think it's like awesome. Yeah. For you know, like in a metal kind of way, because he just kicks ass. Yeah, but, he does see both. What are you going to do? But, um, Where are you going? Uh, it's a little. A little presentational. I'm counting on you. He says both. Oh, yeah. Okay. Claire, are you there? Claire. Security office. Security office. 
I'll be your Uncle Barry. <laughs> your Uncle Barry, dude. Excellent. Bringing it back. I'll Excellent. be your Uncle Barry. That's what he was saying this whole time. <laughs> Who Framed Roger Rabbit is an excellent film. Yeah, very little wrong with that movie. One of Ian Hink's all-time faves. Oh, uh, not a rake, I think. Vader just seems to be showboating. It's like, get the, the, get the plants. They're right there, dude. Force grab them. They're right there. Yeah, they're right They're there. in front of you. The guy's holding it at the door. And the, the cracks open and the guy doesn't pass it through first thing. When he gets up to the door, it's like, Phew, take it, run. Yeah. He's like screaming at the guy, open the door, oh, open the door. It's like, give him the plant. And he's just like, I'm gonna pick this guy up and throw him and I'm gonna stab you a couple, and it's like, Vader, the, get the plant. You know? The plan's right there. That, that drives me nuts in movies when it's like, the, the wind is right there and a character's yeah. like, mmm. I agree. So that's it, that's, that's what, it, what rubs me the wrong way about that scene, but uh, it's so sweet. <laughs> And uh, uh, my friend Garen pointed out something very, very smart, which was uh, makes Vader scary again. Yeah, it does. And he's like, Vader for me had not been scary in a long time. Oh, he doesn't know the plans are on a disc? Okay. Here we go. I think he does. I don't know. The rebel plans. I mean, if he doesn't know about the plans, why is he on the ship? Mm hmm. It's like, why go after that ship that escaped, you know? I'll watch it one more time to reevaluate. Yeah, I've only seen Rogue One once in the theater, but I bought the Blu-ray. Because Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, all the CG faces in Rogue One are big mistakes. Here we go, my god. I love it. Bolton platform. No! Yeah, the, oh man. Even special edition, when like an Empire when Luke falls and they added, like, nah! like yeah. why did that scene need that? No! Curse of Monkey Island live playthrough, yeah, that'd be fun. Favorite John Candy film? Just, yes, per, just where, vacation where, where's, where's Bossman? Oh, of course. Cat. Vacation. Probably, probably planes, trains, and automobiles. One of my favorite comedies of all time. Vacation. It's unbelievable. It's so good. And they, obviously Christmas Vacation. If they wanted to make a sign that people would read, they'd make it big. Like that one. Ah. God, I love Vacation. It's so funny. Home Alone is really good too. I mean, that guy doesn't... I love when I don't I think can, even he's even met his kids. I love when I can share my love with a comedy because it's rare when it happens. We like only need the Magnum at this point. We have oh okay. We have fifty eight. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I'd rather just take the shirt. Sure We're gonna be singing zippity doo dah out of our house. Holy shit! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Kiss my ass. Where's Kiss the eggnog? Kiss your ass. Happy Hanukkah. Kiss his ass. <laughs> Kiss your ass. <sighs> ah. Check our shitters, honey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Favorite comedy of all time? Spinal Tap. You ready for mine? I have one, actually. Young Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. Solid. So Hubert has not died. Hubert made it through this whole time. No deaths. For you, now. Uh, you only saved like two or three times, right? No, six, I think. Right oh, okay. Yeah. 
favorite Mr. Bean movie. Uh, the, the episodes of the show were always better than any of the movies that he made. Five minutes until detonation. We got five minutes. Oh, we are definitely close. There's your, there's your closing in on the end right there. Yeah. Ending approaching in T minus four minutes, 48 seconds. I didn't even know that chest was there. Oh. Whoa. We have so many outfitters. Clue is hype. MC? Oh, I love you, MC. Clue is a fave. Can Hubert play this game blindfolded? No. <laughs> just, just judging by the the, chain, the, the, the sound of the footprints. You know, clink, clink on metal. And... Oh, I remember they do this so you have to like free up some of your inventory. They just like put a hindrance on you. I always thought that, you know? Like you have to carry these two items over here. Um, yeah, Holy Grail is probably my favorite Monty Python film. But again, like they were, there are bits they've done on the show. I think that were funnier than any other movies. Showdown. You hear the story about uh, George Harrison funding Life of Brian? No. So they made Holy Grail, and then they had the script for Life of Brian, and Holy Grail just like huge success, critically, you know, blown out and makes tons of money. And so they're like, okay, Monty Python, name the next movie. And they're like, we want to make a movie about Jesus. And nobody gives them funding. George Harrison completely funds the film by himself. And when asked, he's like, I want to see the movie. Sick. <laughs> oh, oh, lucky shot. Oh man, this fight. Dude. The plugs are definitely there because you have room for launcher. I remember yeah. even back in the day, like, kind of understanding that. Like, ah. Uh. Who could that be? Is that you? Ada, is that you? <laughs> No tyrant. It's one of my favorite things in Resident Evil when tyrant swats it away. It's so awesome. In the what? In the remake or in the? Yeah. Uh, it swatted away. You gotta like weaken him down. Best Steven Spielberg movie? Raiders for me. Schindler's List is probably the, the safer yes. answer, but yeah. Raiders is just such a fucking. <laughs> you may want to watch Jaws real bad when you mentioned it. Ugh. It's so rad. Oh, shoot her! That's a uh, Jurassic shoot Park. Shoot ET messed me up as a kid, man. Whoa! Oh, you remember these guys? Oh yeah. Yeah, Magnum, all these fools. <laughs> Kickback. Yeah. The multi cam kickback. Turn the switch. Birdman likes Last Crusade more. I watched Last Crusade like a couple days ago, actually. It's on Amazon Prime. The philosophical soccer match of Monty Python? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think K2SO will be in episode eight? No. K2SO has left the building. Cool colors. 
I think Last Crusade is a little too much of a comedy for my tastes. It's still f fantastic, but that's why it kind of drops below Raiders a little bit. Temple of Doom is my favorite. Fair. I love it. I think Temple of Doom is a necessary film in that trilogy because Raiders and Last Crusade are so pivotal to his life. The Temple is just your classic, like, that's, that's his job. That's what he does all the time. Like a day in the life of Indiana Jones. Raiders is the best, but Temple is my favorite. It's fair. Favorite Terry Gilliam film? My favorite Terry Gilliam film is my favorite film of all time. Whoa, Jones, I don't think I've ever heard you say that. The Adventures of Baron Munchausen is my absolute favorite movie Dude, ever. I've never even seen that. Nice. It'd be nice to, to sit down with you and pop that puppy yeah, in. Whoa. Every every minute of what Barry Munchausen just I adore to death. I love that movie. Uh, it was a it did not do well. It did not perform well at the box office. Was not reviewed well. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just if you bring up Munchausen to Gilliam, he's like. I don't Uh, we beat Mario Sunshine with like three and a half hours to spare, I think. Uh, I didn't see Beautiful. Robin Williams was in Barry Munchausen, not credited. Beautiful with Bardem, that what was that? Man. Depressing as hell. I have not seen the trailer for the Death Wish remake. Oh yeah, I think Huber's stream of StarCraft is remastered. I don't think I gotta worry about that one. Nope. Do not fear. Oh, the script. What's wrong? I don't know. The door won't open. Haunted Mansion weekend. Oh boy, what a dream. Gotta do that in October though. Fisher King is probably the second best. Brazil is too goofy for me. Real good, but just not, uh, very much as just the right kind of goofy. <laughs> Love you can see the chest in the distance. So rad. <laughs> Look at this freak out. That music. <coughs> uh, favorite Cone Brothers? Uh, uh, Big Oh, uh, no. Uh, Hudson Proxy. Favorite, though. That's a sick movie. Their best is probably Fargo or Big Lebowski, but... This thing, man. Oh, my God. PS1. Mm -hmm. Opera singer. <laughs> so sick. Oh. Time yeah. Bandits is good. What is this thing going to look like? In, Thank you for the reset. In, re in the remake. Cal Hole, four months. Like, oh, what yeah. are we going to do oh, with yeah. this? Kind of mirrors the end of uh, RE7 a little bit. Nice. Oh, I think that's it, baby. Um, that's it. That is it. We did it. We've done it. <laughs> We've done it, chat. We on B. Oh, right on time, baby. Look at that. Boom. Right on time. Look at it just like... Oh yeah. oh yeah. PS1, dude. Look at that. Changing color. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's crazy. Right at your feet. Look at that. I mean, How good does that feel, man? 277 deaths. <laughs> yeah. There will be no deaths today. I need a remake trailer. <laughs> I need details. I haven't seen enough anime movies to, to comment. So live. 
Yeah, I saw the guy cast his Jafar. I'm just kind of whatever about all that live action stuff, so. And Aladdin is one of my. F I like Aladdin more than Beauty and the Beast, more than a lot of that stuff. Have you seen Jungle Book live action? We talk, we've like talked it? about this, bro. Oh, yeah. Yugo shows. TGS is going to be big this year. Favorite Ghibli? Howl's Moving Castle. Favorite Disney Infinity toy? Uh, Nova. Hmm. Which one's the right switch? This is Giovanni's favorite part of the screen, Huber. This part? Just the RE. Oh, thank RE2. you. Ghibli movies are funny because I think when people talk about their favorites, there's no argument there. Yeah. There's no, like, all... Mononoke, boo, you know? It's like, oh, they're all so good. Yeah. <laughs> Spirited Away, like, the right answer. Oh, yeah, like, so you know, Totoro, like, the right answer. Right here. I love this. is a classic take on just Resident Evil in general, the eye. That's like so that's like the title screen of RE1, yeah. that eye. Yep. Yeah. Of RE2. Oh, RE2, though. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. I'm thinking obviously this. Yep. Yeah. So, it's finally over. <laughs> Sherry, you look terrible. <laughs> no worse than you could. <laughs> what? Come on, time to leave. Now? What's wrong? Is something following us? We have to go. We don't have any time to waste. Go? Where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. The base? Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that Japanese horror, man. <laughs> it's up to us, everybody. It's up to us. <laughs> oh, I definitely got love for Airheads. I saw Airheads in the theater. Get ready for the dream team. Alright? Get ready. It's gonna blow your mind. Gonna blow your mind, Jones. Cast tight. Favorite airhead flavor of mystery, the white one. Daisy Confused is one of my favorite films ever. Um, yeah, dude. Keji <laughs> in a Fune. And last but not least, Hideki Hamiya. Dream Team. Yeah. I don't know if we'll review remastered. A lot coming out. What remastered? Uh, Starcraft. Oh. Thoughts on Vin Diesel producing a Miami Vice TV series reboot? That's weird. Had, hadn't heard of that. But uh, yeah. Nice dude. Number save six. 
We got B. Probably shouldn't have saved. We would have got for an badass. A. We would have gotten an A. I'm not sleeping because I'm playing SSX Tricky for a couple hours. How you, how you, how you holding that? Pop it in, dude. Are you ready? All right. Wait, let me save. Save it up. Save it up. Must save the game. Save the game. <laughs> Jones, we might have to uh, wait 10 minutes and do that right now. Play another scene and make me say that? Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind, never what's mind. The, what's the advantage? What? I thought we had, uh, I thought we unlocked a mode, but I was wrong. That's that's next game. What time is it in the USA? It is 4 a.m. Oh, we did. We got EX Battle, dude. <laughs> EX Battle. Should we do an EX Battle real quick? I don't even know who this is. Hey, we got Brad Vickers! Hey, show everybody whatever that is. I'm gonna go. We got Brad Vickers! Yeah, do some research. We got Brad Vickers! Brad Vickers! So cool. Such a cool time. Resident Evil. Brad Vickers. Extreme Battle. Because he's stacked. He's got all the items. Oh, we gotta yeah, we gotta count these deaths though. I don't think I'm gonna die here. No, I'll probably die. But just once. It'll be it'll be one. It's just we're doing just a one and done. Just a little cherry on top. Bombs located within the reason to incinerate all traces of the virus, although unknown threats and terrors will be encountered throughout your mission. The fate of all the humankind depends upon your immediate action. Good luck. Groovy, pasty, itchy, tasty. Just sub uh, 10 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've seen Hubert Luvier in the mess. Do the graphics look better? No, you're just tired. Okay. Do the graphics. What time is it? How much time do you have? Oh, you're, yeah, like two minutes, maybe? Yeah, this is this is actually a commitment. So we should probably call it. <laughs> but it's cool to see. You can unlock other characters. I forget who you get though. I'm pretty sure you can I get love how you just play the entire video game. It's not enough. I know. I, it's my it's favorite game. The passion for this game. It's my favorite it's so game. So intense. <laughs> you can get like Chris and stuff in the mode, which is cool. Whoa. Ooh. I love the two for one. We just want to kill some classic zombies. Who's down here? 
door. Whoa. Oh, open. Jones, if Resident Evil 2 Remake isn't fixed cameras, oh, yeah, I'm going to be sad, dude. I definitely got loopy before the end of PVZ. I, I, I'm going to be sad, Jones. Yeah, I think you'd get over it, though. I think you would. I would. Of course I would, but I'll still be sad. Because you get to, because this, this environment you love so much, you yeah. get to like rotate it, man. You yeah. get to see what we're, see, because like, what's this ceiling look like? We don't know. Yeah, the camera's there. It's like you get to like look up. True. Like, true, true, true. Maybe you go places you haven't before. True. I just, I don't know if you've heard my reasoning that it should be. Because if you have remake fixed cameras. Right. Eight first person, and then Revelations three third person. Mm -hmm. you, you're scratching all the itches. Right, right. You're pleasing everyone. So, all right, John's, you're up. Whew. That was it.